Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of Brilliant Idiot in this baby. Has it? Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. How's your week been, man? I had a great week last week, man. It feels like so much happens. When we, it's like we record the pod, and then it's like we go live a whole life. And whole it's like, life. It feels like it's been it's so long in between pods. Yo, what did, did you do last week? Uh, I was out east. I was in the Hamptons. I was relaxing. I was hanging with my daughter. I was playing paddle. I had my first, you know, little time off, and it was amazing. Mm. I got to really chill out, I'm which is that. hard for me. I'm doing that next week. What this week? See, you already through know. Through July 4th? You already know. Oh, my God. I'm gone for like... I'm going for like 10 days. Uh, got to, man. It's like, yeah, that's yeah. what summer vacation is about. You yeah. work hard all year. And then you, you know? take some time for yourself that's with your it. family. That's it. And you come back and you finish the year strong, you know? Now, can I ask you a question? Yes. I need to know if the algorithms have collided. Because Talk sometimes there's a black algorithm, there's a white algorithm. We know that there's a female algorithm. We know mm-hmm. that there's like a mom algorithm. We know the other thing. Has the hawk to a spit on that thing, you feel me, girl, entered the black algorithm? I didn't even know what it was until I was in a group chat. Uh, Kaz, Kaz sent a picture of Hawk from the Roll Warriors yeah. and Tua from the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> okay. I forgot what we were, what we were talking, what we were even talking about. Yeah, yeah. And I go Hawk Dolphin. I'm, I'm like, I'm texting him like Hawk Dolphin. Like what? It? He goes Hawk Tua. I'm like what the fuck is Hawk Tua? Is that the girl who spit on somebody? Wait, was there a girl spit on somebody? What is the that's what it is? What is the hawk tour? Oh, you don't know what this is yet? I have no idea. Oh wow. Oh my God. Hold on, go from the beginning, turn the volume all the way up. America's America's princess. <laughs> America's new princess. Darling. <laughs> all praise the snow bunny hawk tour. Turn that volume up and let it rip. One move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time. Oh, you, you gotta give him that hawk. And spit on that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't. This girl has stolen America's hearts. Nubian white queen. Queen. Thank you. You Gotta give it up. That's a Nubian white white queen. queen. That's a Nubian white queen. I I didn't even know what it was. Play it again. I need to hear it again. (laughs) I need to hear it again. Oh, same. One move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time. Oh, you 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 gotta give him that hawk too and spit on that thing. You get me? Yo, come on, the man. little giggle at the end. Come on, freaky ass, no bunny. She is 69 hop to a god. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Respect they to that out. Nubian white queen. They brought her out at the Kendrick show. They were celebrating her. Now, listen, when on we Juneteenth, was, they brought out Hawk. The Hawk Tour? They brought out the Hawk. You know, when we was younger, that was always the uh the stereotype of, of white girls that they were like super freaky. They would do things that, that other they knew girls how to give wouldn't head. do. Yeah, yeah, black girls couldn't give head for That's, shit. That was literally was the stereotype when we was young. Yeah. You know what well, I mean? Black girls couldn't give half a shit is what you were saying? No, I, I, I never had no problem, but I'm just saying, like, I, uh, all, I'm, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, I'm just trying to bait Taylor. <laughs> no, all I'm saying is, it, 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 it feels good to see uh, her carrying on tradition. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's living up to the expectation. Yeah, and, and race, of the white Nubian queen. And race shouldn't matter in this equation. No, it doesn't. If saliva you, matters. That's right. Everybody got the that's same color saliva. Right. That's right. Get your that's saliva right. on it. A lot of girls right. don't understand that. A lot that's of girls right. are confused by the whole scenario. All hawk tools matter. All regardless of what race you Thank are, you, you should you look at that. this young lady and Thank say, you, you know that. what? I need to add the hawk tour to your repertoire. To my repertoire, Because your repertoire is missing a hawk tour. Another thing, ladies, just to let y'all know, some of y'all trying to jerk the sperm back into the dick. Don't do that. And jerk it out. Some of y'all are jerking it in. Who does that? Some of these girls is confused. They backwards. They Celsius. And <laughs> what's even crazier is <laughs> you know dick sucking has been happening. You know these girls are just putting the sperm back in. The sperm is trying to swim out, and you just putting it back in. You gotta jerk it out. Dick sucking has been happening since the beginning of time. Think about it, right? Definitely. Dick sucking has been happening forever. These girls is hungry. Men suck dick. Women oh. suck dick. Just dick sucking. This Yo, is the you didn't first, have to. You didn't have to. Pride month. Yeah, month yeah, bro. This you? is the <laughs> first woman. This is the first woman to describe it. Like this. Yeah, you're right. Play it again, Taylor. Yeah, you need it. <laughs> Play you it need more. Again. You need more. Like, this is this is like actually, I'm glad this is in the lexicon now. This is the flyest way to say you want head. Yo, let me get that. Let me get that hawk tour. Bed that makes a man go crazy every time. Oh, like you, you got to give him that hawk tour. Cool. Spit on that thing. Yeah. You get me? You, you got to spit on that <laughs> thing. You, you get, get me? You country ass girl. God man. damn. Yeah. Hawk yeah. tour. Woo! Man, what is her name? Yeah. Woo! 
She can't be the hawk too. Nobody girl. can find her. Nobody can find her Instagram. She's nowhere to be found. She's the AI. It's like wow. Yeah. Somebody. Okay. She probably is AI. Somebody probably created that just to add that to the lexicon. That is the best way to say you want some head. Mm -hmm. It's better than saying too. I want head. It's better saying I want my dick suck. You know, hawk. Tua. Yeah. Now, I'm not asking you, you, Taylor, but like, do black women hawk Tua? Do they know how to hawk Tua? Mm -hmm. Well, if you didn't marry white, maybe you would know. <laughs> God damn. damn. <laughs> God damn. What was that about? First of all, we're not going to just slide past that little cutthroat business you what, did. What she just there was me. no reason for that. Like, 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 you don't marry someone for hawk tours. You said you it married to him for love. You said it to him like he's a black man. Yeah, you don't marry white. Why do I you got an know. expectation. He married when he was supposed to marry. Yeah. Like, what would you do? Like, 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 I fell in love with. Like, so what is she not black? Like you you got know to her. him for no reason. You know my wife. Excuse me, I didn't throw shade. I said you came to my did. wedding. How was that shade? You sounded like Dr. No. Umar. The well, spirit of Dr. Umar was well, in here. Where was the energy at the wedding though? Mm. You know what she I'm was saying? eating up all the sushi at that's the wedding. That's right. That's right. And high you shit. You say nothing at the wedding. You had sushi at your wedding. Oh, that sushi was amazing. That, that sushi that was fire. That sushi. <laughs> I didn't that sushi. sushi. I'm just saying, where was all this energy there? That was so bad. That was really bad. If I could, I said, if you marry, if you didn't marry white, you, you said know. it like he's black or Why another I, that's race. That's how y'all received like it. Like I never that's got head from a black girl before. I Hawk know. Tour. Hawk yeah. Tour. So then, what happened? So you had sex with a black girl before? She had Hawk to her, man. Mm. <laughs> she couldn't handle. By the way, by the way, Hawk to her. I'm it. telling you, she couldn't handle. I know that this. What's the young woman's name? You said. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you're right. Everybody knows right. her name. She's the most famous girl on the planet Earth. Yeah. <laughs> huh? She. This girl's the most famous girl on planet oh, Earth. Oh, but that's my point. Everybody's making this a race thing. This is not. She's from Nashville a, too. Oh, white Atlanta. Thank you. White Atlanta. Thank you. White Atlanta. Thank you. Any, Amazing. If there's Thank anywhere you. to get some hawk tour from a Caucasian, it's white Atlanta. All right, Taylor, do you do any of your girlfriends oh my God. have they ever hawked? This is not a race thing. This is literally that's a hawk tour I'm, thing. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't think there's girls who hawk to it and there's girls who hawk don't. That's right. <laughs> that's right. You either that's hawk right. to it or you don't. That's right. And I, I what I'm thinking, I bet y'all hawk to it uh Philly cheese, I bet you did that. Yeah, but y'all never hawk to it. <laughs> y'all never hawk to it on a on a real thing. On Bring me. that shit one more time, Taylor. That's yeah. yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. That's one, Yo, this is one of the flyest shit I heard in the world. Playing through the giggle, though. Playing play play through the giggle. Play, play it back, Taylor. The please, giggle is phenomenal. Please, this is fly. Why? Y'all so Tell us. Listen, if I was gay, this is why I would say I want to suck dick. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it took him it took him five minutes to ruin Hawk to us. <laughs> it took him five minutes to ruin Hawk to us. We was right there. I'm just being inclusive. We was right there just enjoying it. Pride some. Month, bro. <laughs> I'm being inclusive, okay? There's a lot of gay man, married idiots. Makes the man go crazy every time. Oh, you, you gotta give him that hawk. And spit on that thing. <laughs> oh, the little giggle. The little giggle. I feel bad for her, though, because I know many. Oh, stop stop hating, yo. Shut your ass up. Yo, shut your ass up. Why is you feel shut bad your for her? That's, we are. Yeah, yeah, she is the most celebrated. Man, salute to her. Yeah. Why you feel bad for Let's her? Let's go hawk to her. Why you feel oh, bad for you her? You got Taylor's condolences. <laughs> you can barely get a ticket to Kendrick. Hey, hey, I hope you feel better, Haley, with Taylor's condolences. First of all, she don't want you to feel bad for her. She said that with confidence. No, uh, she's so secure in no, her hawk to abilities. Simple men are probably all in her DMs like, oh, you trying to hawk to my D and all other shit. Like, it's corny. Why is that? That's not a simple Why is that man. bad? That's the greatest advertisement Maybe she liked to hawk to her. Exactly. I mean, she seemed to know <laughs> about people it. people shooting their shot. Mm -hmm. That's, That's fast. All. Why wouldn't you shoot she your shot She put up the bat like signal. That? Come on, man. Y'all are so simple. What that is not about? simple. This is a. Is. This is this is not simple. This is like when people try to say things like uh, "crank that" by Soldier Boy was simple. If it's so simple, why then didn't you make it? Do it? Mm. Why didn't you make it? Two different. That's things. art. No, it's, no, it's that's art. This is art. No. I agree. That's art. This is art, yo. This is gonna be a song. This is dope. Hawk tour. Yeah. Remember when French Montana tried to make that song Ocho Cinco? Nah, bro. Hawk tour. I don't want to think about Ocho Cinco when I'm getting Ocho Cinco. Yeah, you know why would saying? you? Why would you name head after a man? Exactly. <laughs> That's crazy, French. <laughs> that is fucking you know insanity. What but the Hawk tour. Not only is the Hawk tour dope, it's like bye. 
Anybody can use it. Why are you keep? Here what goes, the fuck, Sean? Here he goes, yo. Here he goes, yo. Here he goes, yo. Here he goes, yo. Here he goes. Here he goes, yo. Here he goes, yo. This nigga started vacation a day early. Really did. And it's the way she did her head too. It's like, like, what? Come on, man. And it's, I, and it's a little Asian in it. Oh, you gotta give him that hawk to and spit on that. Come on, oh, man. Oh, my God. You didn't hear the Asian in it? <laughs> that, remember when we said, that's white country. That's the honky tonk. It goes back to the honky tonk. Oh, honky tonk <laughs> Asian Hawk is the to same it. thing. It's proven on point every single time. And it's polite time. to spit in Asia, right? What you gonna do oh, now? Hawk <laughs> to Isn't it polite to spit in Asia? What you going to do now? <laughs> it's not impolite. Thank you. Combine it. Yo, you really want to fuck your man up? Combine yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Combine it. Pull that you know thing out. Saying? You say, what y'all going to do now? What you going to do now? <laughs> and then they go, hot to it. That is a couple. Do you feel that me? is how couples should be you greeting each me? other all summer. Oh you know my saying? god! You and your you and your significant other oh. about to get it in. You say, what you going to do now? And she say, hot, hot to it. it. You know what I'm saying? Spit on that thing. And you if you're get gay, it. say that and then throw on Old Town Roll. Boom. <laughs> what, you, what you mean? Keep it. trying to get his last gay shit in before it's July. Yeah. I can't wait for July, yo. Because <laughs> what's July? Is? Shout out to Pride Month, baby. <laughs> they said she killed Pride Month. They said this was the battle. Really? <laughs> they said she squashed Pride Month. Mm. The rainbow flags were nowhere to be found when Hawk Tua ah, no. was in the building. Hawk Tua, man. Shout out to the Hawk Tua. That was fly. Taylor's rethinking her whole uh, blowjob sequence. I'm yeah, you are. You mad. never, you never hawk to one it. One more time before we move on. Just give me one more. Give we me one, one more. Just so you can learn something. Feel good, just so you can learn something. Come on. <laughs> man, that makes a man go crazy every time. Oh, you, you got to give him that hawk to and spit on that thing. You get me? Yo, yo, can I show y'all something? Man, what kind of she No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Look at her left hand while she does it. She don't even know. It, it automatically grabs air dick. Yeah, nah. Look at her left hand. Oh, Watch her left hand, hand that go. That makes a man go crazy every time. Oh, you, you gotta give him that hawk tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she needs an I'm endorsement deal. Yo, she really does. Who and Hub need to give her her own category. Yeah, yeah. She's doing for blowjobs what Caitlin Clark is doing for the WNBA, yo. Mm. Easily. Come on, man. From three, from the logo. Come She's on, man. Hawk to it from the logo. I, one Yo, can if argue. A, real talk. One, no. Hawk to it from the logo is crazy. One can argue. <laughs> one can argue. You know what that is, right? You open the bedroom door, Hawk, Hawk to it while you're on the bed waiting. God damn. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> then you go like wow. this. Wow. <laughs> you put a three wow. in the dome like this. Wow. That's nuts. One can argue that blow <laughs> Imagine your girl busts open the door, Hawk to it. That's what you Ooh. want. You know what I'm saying? Then hit you with this. This shit Come right on, here. Man. What you, baby, baby, you can have whatever you want. Oh my God. Taylor, listen up. Yo. Listen, one thing. It's a bunch of boring ass blowjobs out here. One could argue. It's a bunch of boring ass blowjobs. And that's where I'm going with it. One could argue that blowjobs have not been appreciated. The receiving of them or the giving of them have not been appreciated the way they should in the modern era. I appreciate it. There's a celebration. We do, but it's not enough talk about them. Like, think uh, about it. What's the last? We grew up in the era of put it in my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was actually great blowjobs. Job records. What's the we, the last one we had was Ocho Cinco? Well, I don't even understand Ocho Cinco. What is that about? Ocho Cinco. What is that about? I think uh, I forgot. What was it? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know that. Was what head. the fuck was it? But why does that mean head? I forgot. I really forgot. Why the fuck did it mean head? I don't know. Maybe French, I don't remember. French was My whole point is, <laughs> we don't appreciate the blowjob anymore. I listen. This woman just brought back the appreciation oh, for the blowjob, yo. Oh, yeah, she did. Come on, man. That's a happy girl, man. Come on, man. That's why you can't find her on Instagram. A girl like that's not begging for fucking attention on Instagram nah. because she got a man giving her all the attention All she the attention needs. he need. Mm -hmm. She out there hawk touring from the fucking logo. All right, let's move on. Give me one more. I need it one more time. One, I, promise, I promise you. One more and that's it. I promise you, Taylor. One, one more and that's one, it. One more and that's it. I promise you. One more and that's it. From the beginning, though. Yeah, go all the way from the beginning. I need the question. One move in bed that makes a man go crazy every time. Oh, you, you gotta give him that hawk to and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you give us a little giggle. God damn, damn, man. man. America's sweetheart, man, yo. That's a, you know what I'm saying? That's America's sweetheart. That is the kind of. All y'all is showing that y'all don't have, y'all have never got a good head before. What are you talking nobody about? Saying so nobody excited. saying that. Nobody's saying so that. Why are y'all so excited? Like, I, it's I, it's like... the branding. I'm a, I like marketing. 
Okay. There, I haven't seen better marketing for a blowjob in a long time. All right, can we just I'm ask driving. an honest question? Have you ever hawked to it? I'm not answering that question. That's a no. <laughs> That's a no. <laughs> you would just say yes if you had. I'm getting a jersey. I'm getting a jersey. I'm going to give you an Atlanta Hawks jersey. Okay. It's going to say hawk on the front, and I'm going to have it say two on the back. Watch. Watch. I'm getting me an Atlanta Hawks jersey, custom made. I'm going to get rid of the S on the front, so it's just going to say hawk, and on the back, Tua. it's going to say two. Two. Hawk. Two. two. You know what I'm saying? This Watch. Two. Huh? You said the number two? No. Oh, oh God. All right. Um, <laughs> what do we have? How, how did she do this every episode? <laughs> she, she, she just can't help herself. Okay. <laughs> what, can, all right, Taylor. What else we got? What else we got? Anything interesting <laughs> happened this week? Nah, nothing interesting. Nothing, happened. right? There's nah, probably nothing. Yeah, nobody did anything. Nobody went nowhere. Nobody, nobody went no fucking yeah, way. Nobody did nobody a single had, interesting yeah, not thing. Not a goddamn thing. Um, uh, what does A minor mean? She, he, she trying to... It's right here. I was going to get y'all something, but I was like, y'all deserve it. So... <laughs> what is it? Because she was trying to say that I didn't get no merch or nothing. She ain't getting nothing. She ordered that shit offline. They finally sent it. Yo, can we just talk about... Can we talk about how Dave Free did not get you tickets? Can we talk about that? Can we talk about how he did? Who are you talking about? How dare you? <laughs> Who got you tickets? Both of you also, thank you. Wow. Yo, that's crazy. I didn't get her no tickets. You think I, you think I would ever do anything to make Taylor happy? No. <laughs> Dove got her tickets. Yeah. Shout out to Dove. You. Your African brother. <laughs> so Dave Free didn't come through? So Dave Free didn't come through. Whose seats did, who did you use? Wow. <laughs> whose seats were better? Shout out. Yo, you already know. Big Jew? Of course. Come on. I use Dave Free. Dave Free gave you better seats than the dreidel? <laughs> <laughs> I don't See, believe no, no, it. No, no, His seats were great too, but. But. She had to pay things. And guess what? I made more money off of it. So you, you sold, sold the tickets Dove wow. got? Wow. I mean. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. How much like, you made? How much you made? Do? How much you made? In the Dove way. How much you made? <laughs> yeah, you gotta appreciate it. <laughs> Just say it. You would appreciate it. How much? Don't worry about I it. I bet you, you, owe Dove, you owe Dove a cut. You owe Dove that's money, the, bro. That's the respectful thing to do. You should give Dove 10%. Bare minimum. You should give Dove 10%. I think you should split it 50-50. Because he, he got you the tickets. It also might not even be legal to sell those tickets. Word up. You should, get the, you should give him 10%. That's you the right, up, that you, is the right thing to do. You could have fucked up Dove's whole business doing that shit. How I? He's getting you access to tickets. I know. And did, I he, did he get them to you for free? No. Oh, you had to pay for them? Yeah. That cheap fucking Jew. <laughs> he made you pay for the tickets? Yes, I paid for them. <laughs> Yo, and that's then I crazy. doubled it. Oh, so you good then? No, because you got them for face value. Yeah, you good. You, you good. good. I, thought, yeah. I thought he gave them to you for free. No. No. How was the concert, Taylor? Amazing. We don't give a fuck. We saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We all fuck saw with it. your experience. It's all good, yo. We, don't care what your <laughs> we really don't care what your experience well, was. Being in the cat, like how they were trying to compare Jadakiss with the um, verses and Kendra. Like, I didn't go to the New York one, but the energy in Cali when Kendrick comes on, or just all of them, is crazy. You know what I want to talk about this week? How she said four different sentences and didn't finish either of them? I don't, I don't even, I don't <laughs> listen to Taylor. I just did. <laughs> That was one of the most impressive things. There is ever nobody seen. I pretend to listen what to more than Taylor. About? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't give a fuck. Cause guess what? He didn't get y'all tickets, and Kendrick Lamar knows me. That's all that matters to me right now. Did you get to say hi to him? Yeah. Really? You're such a liar. Why? Because you're lying for no reason. So, Women waving from the stand, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, he's walking down the stairs. Like, but I didn't go backstage or nothing like that. So how'd you say hi to him? So you waved. Hold on, hi, hold on, hold on. He's bringing people up. He's near the stairs. Like, everyone's, like, when the concert's over. Yeah. So, so you just yelled hi. He's shaking hands with everybody. <laughs> he's, like, going down. He like, shook your hand? Yo, it's crazy. Why y'all hit yo? Where's the video? Hate, <laughs> I watched your story. You had video of everything. No, I didn't. You didn't get video of that? No, I didn't. I really barely made any videos. That was a lot of Tam doing it. I didn't. I was in the fucking energy. <laughs> All right, what was yo, your favorite the hate part? Hate is so crazy. <laughs> yo, what was your favorite but I part? I guess, look, you ain't popping if you got hated, or if you don't got haters, right? So... Thank y'all. 
I appreciate you. We don't have you don't have haters. You are my haters. You're my biggest. <laughs> Charlotte, no. you're my biggest one. Like, just, what are you talking about? I just don't like you. You're my biggest one. <laughs> the difference between hating and just not liking no. a person. No, <laughs> you love me, but it is what it is. Listen, you know what's so interesting about the Kendrick shit? What's up? I've realized over the past week that people really do have Kendrick Lamar fucked up, and what I mean by that is. People that are saying things like Kendrick used this moment to get back relevant. That was are, crazy. Are to saying say. that he used this moment nah, that's as, a, as, a, as a career relaunch. Like, I'm like, do y'all know who Kendrick Lamar is? Exactly. Kendrick Lamar just came off tour. You, you, you'll appreciate this, Andrew, because yeah, you just on. came off tour. Kendrick just came off tour in March. He's been on tour since the Big Steppers album came out. He has the highest grossing tour yep. of a solo rapper in history up until drake yep. in uh 21 yep. with the it's a blur tour he had the number one highest grossing rap tour yep. ever over 110 million dollars all across the globe yeah who needs a fucking career relaunch yep. he just came off tour in march he just won rap album of the year at the grammys last year Year. He has met, he has more Grammys than Drake, I think. It's just weird to me this world that we live in. Recency bias. Recency bias is insane. And like people, it's, yeah. it's unbelievable. But the thing we should all learn is it don't matter whatever your recency bias is. You can't, you know, uh, erase a person's track record. You can't erase a person's resume. It's just that those of us who actually know the person's resume are sitting back like, who the fuck are y'all talking about? Mm -hmm. Who do y'all think he is? But again, these are the comments. These aren't actual no, real human guy, beings. No, I was arguing with some guy saying that at, um, what's LA station? Power, Power 106. Power 106. This guy named Ty. And he's like, I just don't like that, you know, Kendrick just went after Drake for the numbers. I'm like, what are you talking about? Numbers for what? Mm. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar yeah. did nothing that he hasn't been exactly. doing. Like, he's, he's been, been, he's been him, taking right? shots at the other exactly. rappers whenever he feels like it. He, 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 he did nothing that he hasn't been doing. Only difference is Drake fired back in a real way with push-ups. Like, that was our actual record. It wasn't just some subliminal lines, you know, back and forth later. All right, you at me, I'm at you. That's the only difference. Mm. He hasn't done nothing that he hasn't been doing. And he'll probably go back into hibernation after this. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we all waiting for a Kendrick album. We might not get that shit till 2026. Who knows? Yeah, it's interesting. If, like, if every time you come out and you splash, you can start to get, like, the Quentin Tarantino effect. Mm -hmm. You know, where like Quentin can go away for five years and when he comes back, everybody's gonna watch a fucking movie. He's gonna give you that Hawk tour. He's gonna get <laughs> you know when you come back and get that Hawk tour. Hawk tour. I'm not bad at that. So it could be eventually, I think you just develop an understanding with even the casuals, which is I come out when I want to and I shut that shit the fuck down. That's right. So I didn't fall off, I just took time. Mm. And uh, Kendrick, I, yeah. I hate that people keep comparing, or not even comparing, saying like because he hasn't brought something out. That is, he's not relevant though. Uh, it, it, Kendrick has people the best always career. need to hate, but no, people like how always he, he likes hate. to be, he likes to put stuff out how he wants to. They get mad at that. Kendrick and SZA, <laughs> it's crazy. Kendrick and SZA have the best careers. <laughs> Kendrick and SZA come out when they want to. Kendrick and SZA are not controlled by any algorithm. Yeah. They're not controlled by any waves. I, all, I, I, I've said it a million times. I even talk about it in my new book. Get honest or die lying. Why small talk sucks, right? I talk about how you should be a wave and not a surfer. Yes, yeah. They are waves. Kendrick Lamar is a wave. But you also Since just- is yeah. a wave, not surfers. All y'all other surfers, y'all just out here riding dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Even and then people the watch the surfers and they sometimes think that the surfers are the ones setting the trend. It's the wave. But the surfers can't surf without the wave. That's it, and, baby. But, but here's the thing. There's always going to be people to criticize. That's the thing. And the bigger you get, the more criticism you're going to get because there's dollars in the criticism of you. If you're criticizing some no-name motherfucker, nobody's going to watch your video. Nobody's going to click. You can only criticize the top people because that's what gets the most views. Right. So, of course, Kendrick, who's literally on top right now, nobody would say otherwise. After this battle, nobody would say otherwise. Of course, there's going to be people that are going to try to discredit that because that's the only way they can get attention. Yeah. The best part about Kendrick is the fact that he just put out music the entire time with the beef and Drake just online like, no, that's not true. And blah, blah, blah. like he has to like explain himself. And Kendrick just let's say something about though. Kendrick's not a real person. Huh? He's AI. 
Got to be. Mm. That motherfucker stood on that stage for about two hours. How long was it? Maybe two hours? Yeah. Not a sip of water. Yo, everybody's talking about this With a hoodie shit. on. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Not breaking a goddamn sweat in the middle of summer in June. He did. Mad breath control. Sweat. And you know how far... No backtrack. No backtrack. You know how hard it is to do a record like Euphoria? And that's what he started with. So you go... I would have needed... Two bottles of water after rapping you for it. I just spit on the whole front row. <laughs> this motherfucker just went out there, wrapped it, and then put on a whole concert. Yeah. With not, the only other person I see do that is Bishop T.D. Jakes. And he be sweating <laughs> his ass off. But he don't drink no water. <laughs> how was how is They Not Like Us? <sighs> Amazing. Was like, that, and he did him, it five times? Him keep doing it back to back. Everyone just got more hyper. Like, really? For real, yes. That's what I'm trying to say. The energy was different. Biggest like, disc record of all time. Wow. You think so? It's not even close. I think he's right in terms of the numbers. Biggest I bet you it is. Biggest disc record of all time. You put wow. that before it hit him up? It's just yes. more popular. The world knows yeah. about rap in a the way that they did it back in the day. Oh, that's right. <laughs> wow. Biggest I mean, watching that time. concert, bro, I, like, I felt like bad for Drake. <laughs> like <laughs> I, it, was, it was the first time I felt empathy for a guy who's a fucking billionaire. He gets any girl he wants. He flies wherever he wants. And I'm, I'm looking at this guy. I'm like, wow, there's tens of thousands of people in this arena screaming that you're a pedophile I to know. the top of their lungs. The kids are. Screaming. <laughs> Certified <laughs> pedophile. Certified <laughs> pedophile. <laughs> what <laughs> what <laughs> was there? Woo. <laughs> like, what? Woo. LeBron James is screaming you're a pedophile. I Whitney there with the kids, too. Yeah. Like. I mean, it is. Mm. Well, you know, I, I I get what you. I didn't have empathy for Drake, but all I kept thinking because I'm 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 really a strategy person. I like strategy. I like marketing. I like promotion. That's what I like to think yeah. about. And I just thought about how it was such poor strategy because literally all he had to do was, was respond and not like us with a bop. That's it. Like it was really it's right. Yo, you're the bop guy. Yeah. You're the hit guy. If you come out with a dope record that's got everybody in the clubs, everybody on radio, the discussion isn't you got your your ass kick. The discussion is which record is better, not like us or whatever Drake would have put out. You just he straight up tapped out with the hard part six. It's no mas, no mas, no mas. Do you think yeah. Drake doesn't know how to make a hit record without like because Kendrick he spit bars in not like us too? Do you think Drake knows how to do that? What are you talking about? Like I feel like in all his hit records he's not really spitting bars, right? He's singing. He's no, just that's singing not true. and everything. Nah, nah that's not true. Tita, 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 yeah, Tita. Tita rapping, man. I ain't gonna never take that away. No, from no, no. Him. From his bops, though. I'm saying like his uh, he the guy, the kid can do it all. There's there's no yeah. question he could do it all. It was just just a strategic thing. I was telling I was telling the guys on Flagrant. I think the only thing that could get Drake out of this is he has to change the narrative completely. And I think the only way he could do that is if he gets in a relationship, a toxic relationship. <laughs> I mean that toxic. because people people are so obsessed with relationships. Yeah. Like if he started dating Zendaya, if he like okay. stole Zendaya from Tom Holland, it's just going to be the talk of the internet. Yeah, but it's, she's too young. How old is Zendaya? Zendaya? You mean too old for him? Yeah, it's too No, she's yeah. too young for Drake. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, she, it, it would still look weird because Drake's almost 40 now. That's what he... That's sure, what he, sure, sure. But what I'm saying is like the more toxic the relationship is... Okay, what do you need to date Diddy? <laughs> yo, you gotta, you gotta they did it. Yo, that's what you just that's yo, that's how you know. change the narrative. <laughs> you know? Like you slap me once, I'm coming back for more. Like, yeah, wow, yeah. I'm like yeah, Chubbs won't crash nothing, but I will. Yo. <laughs> I mean, nobody would talk about that song ad again. Never ever. Summer. Come on, man. Come Yo, on, man. How bad Come do you want to fight for your career, man? You're right up. Wait, you think no one would talk about Not Like Us still? And then you put out a song called Hawk Tour with Diddy on the ad libs. Woo! <laughs> take that, take that, take, take that, that, take that. No, no, Diddy just be spitting. Uh. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with you? Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> you gotta give it to you with Shaq. Shaq put this up. What is, that yeah, why, was did, man, why did everybody go so wild at this? I thought that <laughs> shit was hilarious. <laughs> I, I mean, it's an funny. obvious joke. He put he put the BBL Drizzy song to it. Yeah. I'm realizing people don't have senses of humor no more. Nah, people people don't know, understand satire. They don't understand sarcasm. That's why they take everything we say literally. Yeah, you're right. Which they probably should, because we're right 95, 99% of the time. Even when we're wrong. Even when we fucking wrong, yo. Even when we wrong. I was talking about that earlier when uh, we was on Breakfast Club talking about, um, what's the young lady's name? Tyler. 
April. No, the other young lady. <laughs> that he interviewed? No, the one um who uh, that was on Big Homie Show, Eric Erica Banks. And Erica, you don't have that clip, Taylor. Erica basically was saying Maya Balak, huh? Maya Balak, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hawk to her, man. Hawk fucking to her. All right? Hawk to her. I am the Hawk to her king, all right? <laughs> okay? I, I am the Hawk to her. No, I thought he was talking about Blossom. <laughs> Mia Bialik. Yeah, I was like, what? I was like, well, my girl got the two of this. That's the homie, too. <laughs> That's the homie. Salute to Mia. Shout out to Blossom. Yeah. What, what, what's the clip, Taylor? Because this is an what was it? about the arguing with your man. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You look diesel, Taylor. You was fucking doing pull-ups with Kendrick somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> you look diesel as shit today. God <laughs> damn. Big Taylor? <laughs> Big Jay Taylor! Jay Jay. Big Taylor! You look like you're about to beat up Tyrese on the lawn. For real. You do. <laughs> yeah. like, you, you really do. Yeah. Like you're about to come up behind Tyrese and put him yeah. in a headlock and yeah. lick his fucking scalp. Why you smashing Tyrese's mom? You yo? look <laughs> yeah. 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 Taylor. All jokes aside, you look diesel as shit. Can you flex for the kid? John Henry! Last time they didn't see it, that's why. Let them know, yo. Let them know. You know me? Find the clip right here. Let's, right. Hear, let's hear the clip. Find that clip. Let's hear the clip, Big Taylor. I like that. <laughs> let's hear uh let's hear the clip, Jailhouse T. Jailhouse T. <laughs> <laughs> Jailhouse T. Fuck around with Big Come Tay. On, Wanna yo. play with Big Tay? Come on, yo. Big Tay? <laughs> yeah. Taylor, Taylor, cutthroat business. With me. And if we're arguing, or you know, if we're having a day where we kind of into it, and you want to argue back, or you want to show show me, <laughs> I'm turned off because now I feel like I'm arguing with my homegirl. Like I so feel you like you want him to just shut up and oh, start from the beginning. Right. Taylor, I want I want Andrew so, to hear the full context. Yeah, what is what's going on? Basically, Erica Banks says men should not argue back with their women. Just let her be right. Play the clip. Well. You don't want you don't want my uh, arguing reaction or, to know, this. If we're having a day where we kind of into it, and you want to argue back, or you want to show show me, <laughs> I'm turned off because now I feel like I'm arguing with my homegirl. Like I so feel you like, want him to just shut up and look, just let you be right. Some situations the men should step down, yes, and just let the woman have it, yes. Everything shouldn't be an argument. Here's huh. what I think about that. Think about the other two, but here's what I think about right. that. If I'm if, if 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 me and you go together, right? And you trust me as a man to lead you, right? Don't. It's only an argument if you keep talking. Shut up. Well, yeah, but as a man, I'm right. Sometimes the man just got to be like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever, girl. If I'm right, not. <laughs> if I'm if I'm right and I know I'm right, like I'm saying, Erica, that's a hot stove. Don't touch it. <laughs> you don't tell me what to do, and you touch it. <laughs> I told you. Well, that's different. If I find out for myself that I'm wrong, if I find out right there, but I'm there, telling you, so you you don't have to find out. Well. You know, I'm a dominant woman, so all they trying to tell me... <laughs> so you're not submissive at all? I can be for the right man. But he, gotta then, get, but he got to get through all this to be, for yeah, you to be submissive? you know what? The right man will. Salute to my guy, big homie Kodak, on uh, 96.1 in Atlanta. That's my guy. Salute to Kodak and JoJo. What you think of that show? Here's the thing. Um... With me. It's it, like it, okay. Arguing, this is what or, I, you know. I, I'll give her the benefit of the doubt because she did say not every single time. I do agree that you don't want to turn every single disagreement into a, a a fight because you'll just be fighting over every single microaggression. That's right. And but at the same time, she's also got to be willing to not turn every single. I, I also hate it when uh, any person in a relationship goes, I'm a dominant. It's like, shut up. What does that even mean? Yeah, like, and, you would tell that to your partner? By the way, I'm dominant, yeah, so you got to just be submissive to me all the time. They're like, that's so yeah. insecure. That's on, so on, From both sides. When but men do it, women do it, yeah. you cannot be, there's no such thing as a dominant in a relationship. No. No. No, no, no. It's just, it's just corny, and then it sets, it sets a tone in a relationship. Now you see everything through the lens of dominance, and now all of a sudden you're super defensive because you're like, oh, they try to dominate me again? It's just whack. And now like, it's all ego because whenever you feel like you're being challenged or whenever they push back on something, I'm the dominant one. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, who I, sold women on this dominant shit? Like, I've seen a lot of women talk like this. I'm, I'm dom but I'll be submissive for the right man. What does that even mean? I, I what is that no. man doing to me? Like, I blame Fifty Shades of Grey. You remember that when that 
came out. I thought it was the guy that's dominant in that. Yeah, but it was like she met the right guy and then she was submissive for him because he was the billionaire guy. But he had to tie the bitch up. He had to fucking yeah. throw her in headlocks and but shit. But I think that's what I remember women saying like, oh, for the right guy, I'll be more submissive. Oh, so a billionaire that has a fetish for <laughs> tying you up, you'll be submissive? Maybe. Why not? You know what? Well, this is so corny. You know what Fifty Shades of Gay is? Tell a us, Sean. A diverse pride parade. <laughs> But listen, what I was trying to say, what, 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 listen, here's the thing, right? Um, you got to ask yourself in a relationship, do you want to be happy or do you want to be right? Right. And so if you and your significant other are in an argument. Right. And I'm not talking about an argument of opinions. Argument of opinions are different. Like yeah. argument of opinion, argument of opinions, you'll just go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. But when there's a clear right and a clear wrong, yeah. if you're the right one, cool, you got it. Because guess what? They're going to learn that you were right. Mm -hmm. And they're going to come back and say, you know what, you were right. And, and vice versa. If you're wrong, cool. L let it be. And then when you find out you were wrong, just go back and be like, you know what, baby? You were right. Like, how, you don't have to this? win in those moments. How about this? What if it's... Uh, shut up. What if it's... You just trying to keep the argument going. Yeah, yeah. Hey, By the way, some people are like that. Shut, hey, what, I'm, you, listen, what, you got your period on? I'm the type, you ever I, try that one? That one works. I like to argue. I yeah, don't like yeah. to argue with my wife, yeah, but yeah. I like to argue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was arguing with Taylor this morning. And I started, I started going, <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, "How old are you?" I'm just doing that to keep the argument going. Yeah, because yeah, you, you know enjoy the conflict. That's it. Yeah. You know? No. So, what I was honestly going to say is, what if it's, what if you go, "Hey, what do you need?" That's that's. That's what I think can sometimes, when you sense the tension, because oftentimes the fight ain't even about the fight. But what that, if it's, hey, hey, that is, that what is do you, powerful. what do you need right now? And I tell you why that's powerful. Because if you say, "What do you need?" and their response is, "I to need be to be right. right," now, now the whole argument is wrong. It, oh, that's it's, it's oh, terrible. It's just about being right. That's okay, right. that's all, all right. ego. But if she says. Honestly, I need a hug. I'm feeling a little shitty today. I'm tired. Then you go, all right, let's That's not love. argue about dinner. Let me, let me give right. you that fucking hug. Now, this is not my idea, by the way, okay? Some therapist told me this shit, but I thought it was a really good tool because if if we can check our ego or the woman can check their ego for a second to just ask that, you cut the tension right in half. Do you realize 100%, I don't give a fuck what nobody say, uh, and I'm, this is brilliant idiot's math, 100% of all arguments are because of projection. Yeah. Like, oh. you're, like you're like, why are you so upset about this? Like, this don't, whatever you're just, it <sighs> bro, don't have nothing bro, to do with bro, me. Bro, bro, and bro. I know, I'm not talking about this relationship, I'm just talking about in life, period. Mm. Like, that's when you say, all right, what do you need, yo? What's the yo, real issue? What's really going on? Tell me this isn't every fight. One side does something to the other side. That side interprets it in the worst possible way. The first side probably did not intend it for it to be interpreted in that way. That's right. But it's already been interpreted. This side right here doesn't say anything. That's but right. But they stew. Mm. They're upset. That's right. Right? Now, this person, the, the first person could be completely normal, totally nice, but this person's a little upset mm. because they've been aggrieved, but they're not bringing it up. Now, the first person starts going... Why is that person upset with me? I didn't even fucking do anything. Right. So now they get a fucking attitude. Now you're fighting about dinner or some other bullshit, but it started at a complete misinterpretation That's and right. inability to communicate That's what the other person needs. That's all it is. That's why when you, what you said is so, is so powerful. What do you need? It's like, what yo? do you need? When you say, what do you need? It's like, oh, okay. Now we can really have a real discussion about what the real and shit girls, is. And girls, you could say that to us. Just go, what do you need? You know what we're going to say? I all the time. <sighs> do I need Thank like you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That would have been great if Taylor didn't fucking steam it. That sounded yeah. crazy. I'm Somebody's going to fuck that up. Somebody, I do that to Charlamagne all the time. Hawks to him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what? I say I give him a hug every time. Whenever he tries to get... Into his like teasing ways, why you just want to hug? But soft, right? You gonna crack his fucking spinal column? <laughs> Debo, yo, Debo, come on, yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> soft hug him. Don't be, you know. Hey, come on, Taylor, come on, stop playing. It's hate though, cause it's clearly not hate. Want muscles like me. Yes, we do. I, why do you think I work out three times a week? It, it takes you three times a week to try to get how I am? Yes. No, nah, would be more. Except for the ass. I got way more ass than you. Um, but no, I agree. 
That what? is just the thing. Because, you know, a lot of times the arguing is just circling the wagon. So this is actually the issue. But the arguing is this. Mm. It's this. And nobody's acknowledging until, this exactly, shit. Exactly. Until you say, what do you need? Oh, okay. Now we can stop and discuss this. Yep. That's it. It's... Because I, like, I, I, like, I know that I like attention. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially, and I'm not talking about attention from the world. I'm talking about when we're in a room. I want it. You know what I'm saying? But you don't want to go to your wife and go, I want attention. <laughs> yes. But when exactly. she's not giving it to you. Absolutely. And guess what? They all know. Oh, hell yeah. They My do. whole house knows. They know it's time. You know what don't ignore me. <laughs> exactly. You know what I mean? Daddy needs a hug. Daddy needs some love. Daddy yeah. wants to feel appreciated. And then you start walking around where they don't. You're like, who the fuck you think pays for all this? You think this shit, you, <laughs> you think this just right. appears? You think yes. it just appears? Yes. I'm waking up at four in the morning every yes. single day so yes. we can pay for all this and nobody yes. going to acknowledge yes. me in my own home. That's all I'm saying, yeah, yo. I That's why when a, when a man walks in the house, there, uh, there, I promise you that you, when, wait till your child starts walking. There is nothing better when your when child they run runs. Over? Oh my God, it's the best. And you got to think I'm getting tackled by three now because the sixteen year old don't give a fuck about oh, me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Really, all my projection is for because of her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, because that's yeah. who I want the attention from. Yeah. But I can't get that. No you ever more. you ever use that to be passive aggressive to your wife? That's a good question. Like your kids come running to you, you're like, oh my God, this feels so good. Where'd you learn this? Nah, your mom. No. <laughs> no. no. Must have got this That's from my side of the family. Argument, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you know what fucks you up? Uh, and somebody told me this stat. I don't know if it's real. You can look it up, Taylor. But they was like 70%, I think they said, of all the time you're going to spend with your child. I think, did you tell me this, Chris? 70% of all the time you spend with your child is between the ages of them being a baby and 18. Because once they leave the house, mm. it's a wrap. So in my mind, I'm like, damn, I got two more years yeah. before I probably hardly ever see my oldest. And then when you think about it, see, it's probably different for you because you live here in New York. Your parents live here. So you probably see your parents more than the average person. Where your parents live at, Alex? Philly. You see them a lot? Mm, you do a good job yeah. of seeing them. Chris, you like, see your parents a lot? Once or twice a month. Oh, because you go to Philly a lot. Yeah. I don't see my parents a lot. You know? Oh, Taylor, you I don't do see them as much but as I should. It was really? actually, it was actually something he said one time. He said it on, I think he said it on Flagrant. He was like, "See, look, seventy-five percent of the time we spend with our kids in our lifetime will be spent. God damn, twelve! I know it was age twelve. I thought it was that. That might be right too, to be honest with you. Because once they hit thirteen, they don't want to fuck with you, bro. Wait till you hear this stat. Go, Go ahead. So he said, like, by the time you leave your house, you probably only see your parents maybe three, four times a year." So now, if you add that up with the average age that you'll live to, like you're probably only going to see your parents maybe thirty or forty times. That's a more fact. times in your life. Yeah, that's a fact. Like that's when crazy. I read that shit, I was like, oh, no, no. Every single week we're hanging out. That's a fact. So I now they come over time. once a week, or we go over there once a week. But it's like every single week we gotta see each other because that shit was terrifying. Yeah, when you said that shit, I, just, I talked to my kids about that the other day. All the time with my grand, my, my parents are out. And they've enjoyed a very close relationship with my parents. On your side. On my side. On on your on your wife's side though, they they don't die. Asians don't die. <laughs> so, so far, there's nothing to worry right. about. Actually, yeah, no, they don't. Right. Yeah. I don't think that's I've how seen... you get to two billion, right? You right. just don't ever die. <laughs> I don't think I've seen my parents thirty times in fourteen years. Wow. Probably longer if I if I think back to like, you know. I'm you sorry, know? I cut you off, Chris. What were you saying though? I was just saying they were, you know, my parents were up and it was fine, but my teenagers were being teenagers. And, in their room. And they weren't locked in. And I wanted to say to them, you don't know if you're going to see these people five more times. Oh, you might because you, you've, you've known throughout their life. They've always been here. They've always been present, but they're 80 years old. Like, I don't even do that, with the I don't do that with the grandparents. I do that with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm a dramatic ass cancer. <laughs> it's cancer season. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, I could die. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give me a freaking hug. Yo, All right. The pressure your kids got to feel. Hey, man. Right. Right. It's feel not good. pressure. It's just love your daddy. <laughs> love your daddy. How's that pressure? How's the pressure to love your father? You see, it's not just you, Taylor. It's <laughs> not just you. You don't want to scare them at the same time. Who? <laughs> <laughs> who, who, who? I believe that. Who don't want to scare him? It's true. Listen, the reality yeah, of they life They love is their true. father, man. Every, you know, like, you know it. Listen, 
I, I like I love stoicism. Yo, stoicism, sorry, you God. have to accept your fate. Ryan Holiday literally gave me a coin one time that I have. I usually carry it with me, and it, you look at the coin and it says, "You're going to die one day." Oof. And that's just a fact of the matter. And we all should be living like that. We all should be treating life yeah. in that way. Yeah. You know, we're, there's a there's a there's a, a, a clock ticking right now that none of us can see. We don't know when that shit is going to be up for us. So it's just like, yo, love people. Show them appreciation. Don't walk away angry from folks. You know what I mean? That you actually love and care about. It's funny. We're talking about families. My boy is uh, just texted me. His, his, he and his wife are at the hospital. His uh, wife is giving birth to their second Amazing. kid. Amazing. He just texted me this. They don't talk enough about the plight of baby delivery for the dad. <laughs> Nothing teaches you the serenity prayer more. The serenity prayer is God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. There is, n we are the most useless motherfuckers. Irrelevant. In a goddamn oh, bro. When, a, when a pregnancy is happening, oh, bro. we are useless as uh, fuck. There's nothing there is you can nothing do. Nothing we can do. Nothing. I can't stop you from going through this pain. I can't help you deliver this baby. Mm -hmm. Only thing I can do is sit here and get pray. you the Jello. You That's need the Jello. It. Here's the Jello. That's it. Jello. I thought about it's the it. only thing they could eat because they can't consume. Uh -huh. Listen, on my last job, we didn't. I didn't. I didn't want to know what it was. Right. I yeah. didn't want to know what the gender was going to be because yeah. we weren't. We, we weren't even trying to have a four child. So I didn't want to know what the gender was going to be. So I'm just assuming in my mind. I already accepted. I had three girls. Girls, so she got pregnant again. This got to be the boy, right? And I think about it right now. That whole time she was delivering that baby, I didn't think about nothing except for what the gender <laughs> of this child was going to, going to be. I mean, when I say I didn't think about nothing else, you know, and, I, and I've, been, I've been through it all. I've been through all the different range of emotions in the delivery room. You're like, you're nervous, you're scared, you hope everything goes right. What the fuck you mean, doctors? You ain't got no epidurals. All of this shit. All I was thinking about in that moment was, is this my little man? <laughs> and? No, of course it wasn't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The doc, As the doctor's pulling her baby out, the doctor's like, I heard she was like, okay, get her head. Motherfucker. And I'm like, nah, I don't think she said. I think she's, I think, <laughs> they, I don't know if she really, man, how she knows it's a her if all she sees is the head? Like, what the fuck you mean get her head? Like, how the fuck she knows it's a her, right? But I'm, I, they already knew, you know what I mean? I guess. Yeah. But I'm just like, I wasn't thinking about anything except for the gender of that baby. And once that baby came out and it wasn't a little boy, I was happy. And I was like, all right, man. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is on the gram, man? But think about that. Yeah. Think about how I can just go to Instagram. Nah, he's being real. I've been there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your wife is just like, she just delivered this amazing life. She just went through this... <laughs> excruciating experience again. Yeah. I can just go back to Instagram and go on about my it. day. Not her. I know it. That shit is fucked up, yo. Would y'all wear up... the labor simulator? No, no, no. That shit, I don't believe that yeah, shit. Yeah, that, yeah, that, no. I don't believe that shit could even get close to uh, making but, you feel what women feel. Would y'all wear it though? No, for... nah. That's just some shit hurting you. Yeah, it's no point. We shouldn't both go through this. Wow. <laughs> we shouldn't. There's no point in that. I don't believe the labor simulator is real. I also... I also don't Can question. Can I order some and you try it? No, we believe it's hard to give birth. Like we, we're on board with that. I've seen it. Kidney stones are just as bad. Hmm. I don't know about that either, Chris. Because yeah, I ain't never had a baby. About it. Why? It's it's about ultimately at the end of the day, something being forced through a tube that it's too big for. What's the difference if it's millimeters or? 25 inches. Yo, Chris, I've never heard you mansplain nothing in my life. <laughs> when I say <laughs> never... That was fire. That was, that was great. That was that fire. That was great. Let them I've women never heard know, you yo. mansplain Tell nothing them in my shut life. Up. Giving shut birth up. is essentially just something too big going to a small tube. Yeah. God damn. I've asked, I've asked women who have had kidney stones, tell me the truth, what was worse... what they, they say? They won't give me an honest answer. That's what I know. Wow. It's kidney stones. You know how to get a... <laughs> Wait, what? You yeah. say they won't give you an honest answer. They evade. They evade. That's, that's, I, I would actually listen to a woman about that. I mean, I listen to a woman. I want to know, honestly. Yeah, I would I listen know. to that because they, they, they've had both experiences. We haven't had both experiences. Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. What else we got, Taylor Gang? What else we got? We need the memes of the week. Oh, when no. you do your vacation, you don't bring the in-laws or the family? Yeah. And fly them out? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's when I... Like, even oh, that's when you see them. That's when I see them. Oh. So it's like... Oh, wait, you're taking the whole fam? <sighs> yeah. So who goes? Uh, in-laws, mom... Uh, Dad? Uh, nah, that's my pops. My oldest sister. Uh, my niece. I mean, uh, for, for immediate family, yeah. Got yeah. it. My in-laws, my mom. Brothers? Sister. 
No, my brothers don't ever go. I don't even know if they got passports. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't think so. If they wanted to go, they would ask me. <laughs> they would. It's usually not. I probably wouldn't your invite them. Yeah. I would invite them. I love my brothers. I love my little brother. I invite them. I don't think they have passports. I don't know. I'm asking, you know what? That's a good question. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna find out right now. I've never I've never asked them in my life. Well, I'm sure they feel like you want them there. <laughs> 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 they probably listening to this like, what the fuck you mean we ain't got no passports? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else we got, Taylor? Um, what the fuck is this? What do you talk about fitness test? What is this? Snoop Dogg. Um, he was commentating, and then man, salute to Snoop, man. Oh wow, Snoop looks good. Snoop is a is a Crip Army knife. Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. Forget the Swiss Army knife. He's a Crip Army knife. Yeah. I mean, he looks good here. There's nothing Snoop cannot do. Nah, that's facts. Snoop Dogg is one of the most authentic personalities ever to walk the face of the earth. Facts. Because regardless of what he's doing, he is always Snoop Dogg. Mm -hmm. And and that makes him timeless. You ain't never heard nobody call Snoop Dogg an old ass nigga. Nope. <laughs> you no, know you're right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, because he's just timeless. He because also crosses Snoop. generations. Like, there are young people that know Snoop Dogg, love Snoop Dogg, and then old heads, obviously, like us, love Snoop Dogg. But... It's very rare that you see that. In Is he music. top five most famous people in the world? No. Nah. You don't think so? I don't know about top five, but he's. Bro, Snoop is famous, bro. <sighs> like worldwide, globally Trump, known. Putin, Xi Jinping. Michael Jordan, Taylor Swift. Like, there's a I, bunch I, of people before, but he's he is one of the most recognizable human beings on planet Earth. I don't Earth, know if Putin. Nah. And Xi Jinping are as popular as Snoop. He's not. No. Yeah, if Gigi Ping was walking in Chinatown, we wouldn't know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> the most nah, he would people. blend in, but we would know if someone said, like, we're aware of him. Okay, this is the most famous but you gotta all time. <laughs> oh, yeah, Barack. <laughs> the most famous all time people list. Barack no, no, Obama. But I'm saying alive. We, we need to go alive. They got Barack number one. Hold on, let's, let's look at this top two real quick. Barack number one. Abraham Lincoln, number two. Tom Cruise, number three. George Bush, four. Albert Einstein, five. Who, who else, Taylor? That's it? That's the top five? Mm -hmm. Six, Michelle Obama. Seven, Queen Elizabeth. Eight, Sylvester Stallone. Nine, Michael Jack. Ten, Will Smith. Man, Cap! This, this, cap. This, this, list, cap. this list is so cap. fucking dumb. Queen Elizabeth, no. Scroll up some more. Michelle, Michael, how is Michael Jackson not number one? Exactly. I don't, nah, this list is garbage. I don't believe this. Mm -hmm. I don't believe it. So there was somebody else in that top 10. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Who scroll up, Taylor? Who was in that top 10 just now? Uh, Sylvester scroll Stallone up. is when Sylvester they went. Sylvester Stallone, they, no. They Yo, yeah, okay. with, with all due respect. Jo yeah. Jordan or Snoop? Jordan. Michael right? Jordan. Michael Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so there's Michael one. Jordan. Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan not in that top exactly. 10? Michael get the fuck out of here. Him. Albert Einstein, garbage. Everybody think he's yeah, Doc Brown like... back in the future. Nobody gives a fuck. Um, Does the young generation know who Michael Jordan is? Yeah, yeah. They got they still wearing the sneakers. Yeah, well, yeah but you can know the shoes, but not know the person. It don't matter. You know Jordan. Yeah, this is all Google. Mm. That's the most famous all time people right there. Nah, that's a garbage. Nah, 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 nah. Snoop. I don't know, bro. Fifty or Snoop worldwide. Snoop. Oh, that's hard. That's really tough. Eminem you know or Snoop. Eminem. Uh. Yo, I mean Eminem was just a, a sensation. See, Eminem, Fifty, and Snoop different. Like I like those three are different. But I still think Snoop is more famous than all of them all yeah, around the world. Yeah, he's just though. such a... He's like a cultural figure outside of his genre. He's in every... Like, Snoop is in fucking regular commercials when you're watching uh, he got a shit on CBS. Deal. Yes. Like, like, yeah, yeah. Like, if you see somebody pop up in a commercial on CBS, yo... I'm trying to think. He's like... Corona. What about Shaq? Oh, Shaq is huge. I mean... Nah, I think Snoop. Yeah, Shaq. I'm still going Snoop. Yo, you know what Snoop? Snoop is like Pikachu. You know what I mean? Like he's 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 bigger than being a person. He's like a, a character. He's a character. He's a figure. Yeah. So it's like you can't even look at him or compare him to to other human beings. But so Shaq. Yeah. And and Shaq's been doing. You talk about commercials. Shaq's for literally 25 years has never stopped. Shaq is big. Shaq's famous. Shaq is famous. 
I just think Snoop, like to, to show to his point, Snoop is a character. I think that people relate to characters more than they do real people, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. Snoop Dogg, like Snoop is up there with like Ronald McDonald. Th that's what I'm saying. You know it's, what I'm saying? It's larger than... The site has something different. Okay, okay. Now see, this is interesting. The most famous all-time music Man, get artist. get the fuck out of here. Now, nah, this might, Michael Jackson, number one. Lady Gaga, number two. Get out of here. I, Taylor Swift, way over Gaga. Right now? What do you mean? Of course. Yeah. Snoop number four, though. Where's Taylor at on this list? This is the same list, by the way. No, it? no, no. Taylor's it's the eight? same website. Nah. Taylor is more famous than Elvis right now. Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez, Britney Spears. Who else? Let me, let me find. Mm. Yeah, them shit is garbage. You Gov. This is like this. This must be like fan voted type shit. Well, I mean, I don't know. How, well, I don't know what the metrics is for this shit, but. Snoop is up there. Michael Jackson is definitely the most famous person ever to walk the face of the earth. Okay, what about Joe Rogan or Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg. Snoop. You really think? Yeah, yeah, Snoop. Just, I mean, just, just because Snoop has a, Snoop's been around longer and uh, m music music infiltrates the world more than, than podcasts. That's fair. You That's know? That's fair. And Snoop has had all-time classic records that have been around since the late 90s, 94. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. people forget. And I'm the crazy part about Snoop, there was never like a, 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 a trajectory for Snoop where it did like this. Snoop came out, and when he debuted, I think he had the highest selling album of all time That's for, interesting. for a week. Yeah, for, so, for two weeks in a row, like he did. Well, pull that up there, like his debut album. It did like, cause I think Fifty broke the record, but at the time Snoop had the record. It was right. like seven hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand for two weeks in a row, or some shit like that. Snoop was the first time I saw someone, a rapper who wasn't from New York, run New York, huh. and it was crazy. And it's happened since, but that was Lottie Dottie. We likes to party Snoop everywhere. Debut album. Everywhere that song. Snoop debut album broke records. Let me see what this shit was. Gin and Juice was such a big song. I mean, yeah, come on, forget man. about it now. Shout out Snoop, that, that man. Monster song. Come on, man. He broke some record with Doggy Style. I can't remember what the fuck it was. What was it? Yes. Doggy Style debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, selling 806,858 copies in his first week, which was the record for a debut artist. So debut artist, period. Wow. Not rap. Debut artist and the fastest selling hip hop album ever at the time. Wow. And then I think he came out the second week and did like another 800 something thousand. Wow. So just think about that at that time. This the 90s. Like Snoop was on fucking Rolling Stone and all that shit in the 90s. He was doing shit we never saw rappers do. I so, had that cassette tape. My on, father man. took that from me because it said the N word too much. Really? really? No. <laughs> you ever jacked off to the dog with the fat ass on the cover? <laughs> Click on the cover, Taylor. Oh, I know it well. Click on the cover, Taylor. <laughs> I know it well. Click on the cover, nah, Taylor. Nah, that dog is crazy. Look at that position. <laughs> you see that? I never knew that. Was... I, I start picking Charlamagne on the bed. Yo, sorry, sorry. <laughs> My shit way fatter than that. Don't <laughs> well, speaking of the editor. My shit way fatter. Whoa. Than that. Um, Gary. Gary who? Met Gary Owens. No. No, 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 no. Gary and JJ Reddick? Look, no, Gary. stop it. That JJ <laughs> shit is bullshit. <laughs> that JJ <laughs> shit is cat. Gary and JJ Reddick, yo. Come on, man. Why this girl that yeah. have I ever said the N word? Gary said the N word. Come on, I'll see the interview of you and Shaq. Dude, what the fuck just happened? That person had nothing to do with my I've never I've never said it like with malicious intent. I've never said it's a put that motherfucker. I listen to rap. <laughs> you don't think when I'm in a car by myself, I'm singing the fuck out of the song. Think I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's good for him, yo. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, this is great. Yeah. He's being honest. He's being honest. And the crowd is reacting in a positive way because he's being honest. And he's not saying it in a, a, a malicious way. Exactly. The only thing I would tell Gary is don't practice bad habits. <laughs> And the reason I say don't practice bad habits, because if you're used to doing it in the car, it's gonna come you're going to get caught slipping somewhere. Yes, don't sir. practice bad habits, man. Yes. One of my brothers does not have a passport. I'm waiting, <laughs> I'm waiting on the other one to text me back. And I, uh, 
Yep. Neither one of them have path for it. Nice. You See? out the blue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they didn't want it enough. Neither. They didn't want it bad enough. Neither if they wanted want... to go, they would have got a passport. <laughs> but the fact that they didn't go. Neither one of them have passports. The first year they were asked. <laughs> but they weren't asked. Maybe in the past, if they were asked, they would have had one. No, what I'm saying is they don't want it bad enough. Like, yeah, if you yeah. want to go in the pool, you start taking some swimming lessons. That's you right. know what I mean? Like, you don't expect someone to teach you how to swim right, right there in the pool. They grown. Put the, put the work in. Um, JJ Reddick. Shit. This is so. This is so fucking stupid. The guy played basketball for 15 years in the league. He was the number one superstar athlete at Duke. Never once was this mentioned. The guy is like a civil rights hero. A woman on Twitter. Civil rights named hero. Halima Remember when Nash. he was on the pod? All his like gay woke oh, shit when he was young. When, yeah, dude, he was he was he was writing raps about Martin Luther King. He was yeah, really yeah, yeah. It's the most hilarious. This is the biggest bullshit. That's far on Twitter, a woman hero. named Halima Nash. Wrote, he liked Martin Luther King for a white guy. That's a civil rights hero. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Martin's the easy one. Uh, tell me, you like the honorable Elijah Muhammad? Now it's a little too far. <laughs> it's a little too far. Halima Nash said. I've only been called the N-word to my face by a white man once in my life, and it was on the campus of Duke University while I was doing work with the basketball team. And today he was named the new head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. What a world. Man, get out I don't know. Get out. It's crazy you could just say that about someone. I mean, it's crazy that he got the fucking Lakers head coaching gig. That is great. That is the craziest shit. Now, I think J.J. Redick is a brilliant, brilliant basketball mind. And if we're going to be doing away with due processes and just processes, period, I'm all for that, too. Because there's a lot of things that I'm thinking about doing now that people are going to say he's not qualified for. Like what? <laughs> but I don't give a fuck because I want to do it. And my mind is going there and it's telling me I can. But my body is <laughs> telling me yeah. <laughs> Right? Is that I, how that song I just goes? feel like I can My do it. My mind is telling me no. Shout out to JJ Reddick, though. Uh, what do you think of him being the new head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers? Yo, coaching in the NBA is easy, bro. But this is also the guy who thinks that he can do heart surgery. Also easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it can't be that hard if first time coaches have won the championship. Every single year for like the last four years. First time like coaches who have had uh, experience being assistant coaches. First time coaches who have had experience probably coaching on other levels. JJ has none of that. I mean, he's been coached. And he coached the fourth grade. Listen, I'm not mad at yeah, him. My, yeah. uh, I don't give a fuck. Father's boyfriend's brother is on that team. Yeah. It's like a, literally like eight year olds. Okay, so here's the thing. One, I, no, no, obviously coaching is very hard. I think the most difficult thing about coaching is managing the egos. Like these guys are making hundreds of millions of dollars. Nobody in their life tells them what to do. And then you got to walk in making far less than all of them and start commanding them to do things, get them to trust you, get them to believe in you. That's the hardest thing. I think that's going to be the, the deciding factor. It's not going to be like what offense they run. And right? why would players respect him? That's the thing. You got to, now here's the thing. He's played in the league for 15 years. No He's, chips. Mm. Wait a no minute. rings. I like JJ. I'm saying no yeah, rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm just saying, what reason would players have? Basketball IQ, and most importantly, LeBron has to respect him. He has undeniable basketball IQ. Is it LeBron privilege that he got the job, or white privilege? Neither. I think it's basketball IQ. Not nah, like, some LeBron privilege, bro. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. No decision. I thought. I'm sorry, sorry. LeBron privilege. You mean like LeBron wanted him there? This is my fucking podcast partner. This guy yes, is yes, brilliant. Yes, 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 yes. But. What I think is LeBron is looking at this guy from the, the podcast and he's going, oh, this guy really knows the game. He really respects the game and he respects me. I want him to be the coach because I trust his basketball IQ. He might have had other pet coaches in the past where he's like, I don't really trust their basketball IQ. So the question is going to be, can he communicate effectively to all these players? Popovich is still coaching whenever he wants because he can communicate to the players. The players respect him because he commands their respect. So can JJ do that? Yes. I think he can. He can. Because he's been in the league for 15 years and liked on every team he's been on. You know, I know he can because this is what I would like to hear. I would like to hear his pitch to the Los Angeles Lakers organization. Ooh. First of all, we've heard JJ Redick on podcasts for a long time. Before he was doing the Bron joint, he was doing the, the the three balls, one guy. What was it called? The shit with Tommy? Old man in the three. Old man in the three. Old man in the three. So we know, and we've watched him on first take, we know his basketball IQ is high. We know he knows how to articulate. I don't think it's too many people who break down the science of basketball better than J.J. Reddick. So imagine him in that pitch meeting 
and how fire that shit probably was to the Lakers organization. This is an organization, family-owned organization forever, the Bus family. They've heard the best. They've had Phil Jackson there, the greatest coach of all time. They're the all-time most winning organization in basketball history. Well, the Celtics are now, but they're right behind them. Can you imagine how fire J.J. Reddick's pitch must have been to the Lakers for them to say, we need to hire this guy who has no experience, has never coached on any level, but we got to sign him as our head coach. He must have went in there and said some shit that motherfuckers ain't never heard before. That, but also, he wasn't their first choice. Who was the first choice? The guy from UConn. Early. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he quit. Yeah, he, he turned uh, it down. He turned it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he wanted to. He so I think JJ to gets to walk in there with actually less, um, like, lo- and I don't want to say lower expectations, but it's just like, hey, I wasn't your first choice. That's okay. But, but how many other choices were it? It's the Lakers, bro. Of course. I think there were two choices. Nah, it had to be more for the Lakers. Oh, no, there's plenty of coaches out there, but I think there were two offers made. First was to Hurley. Hurley's like, no. And then I think they brought in JJ. You don't think they interviewed nobody else but JJ? No, no, I, I'm sure. I'm just saying that you go down the list. So the UConn dude, he says no, and I think next on the list was JJ. My suspicion is this. LeBron always liked JJ. The organization felt more comfortable with someone who's had coaching experience. I think LeBron was like, I also like that guy with coaching experience. I think he has good IQ, and I'm I'm okay with that. So the, the organization goes, okay, well, if you like him and, and we really prefer him, we're going to go there first. Once he said no, LeBron's like, well, the only other person I was impressed with was JJ. And that interview had to be fire. Yeah. Like hot tour type fire, hot. bro. <laughs> so, had to be. I'm telling you, like we've heard enough JJ Reddick rhetoric to know that he probably sold the Lakers some shit like, whoa. Yeah. But also consider us the Lakers. Who's the most, uh, the greatest Laker coach of all time? Uh, Al Pacino. Close. Uh, Pat Riley. Pat Riley. That's Al Pacino. Right. Pat Riley, some coaching experience, assistant coach, but minimal, was mainly a broadcaster, similar to J.J. Reddick. Really? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I didn't know that. For maybe a year as an assistant coach. It's about, it's not about the... It's the vibe. It's not about the X's and O's. Yes. X-player, smooth. They think he's the next Riley. Mm. I don't know if he is. I don't know if they think he's the next Riley. But that's what, the that's the model they're going what for. What I think is they believe, and they're right to believe this, that he really knows basketball. And I think what happened with the, who's the last coach? Was it Ham or something like that? Uh, Darvin Ham. Yeah. I think what, what happened with Darvin was that the team was a little fractured and some of them believed in him, some of them didn't really believe in him. Sure. What they know about this dude is he's going to obsess over the minor details. He's going to dump his entire fucking life into coaching this team. And the players in the team will bare minimum respect his decisions because his decisions are going to come through data analysis. When he comes and tells you, hey, you got to stop shooting these two pointers that we're, you're losing every single time. It's not like my gut is telling him. He'll be like, I went through all the shit. Right. You shoot 20% when you're guarded on your left side. Stop shooting from there. Or right. Learn he's a stats shoot from guy, there. but he's also an ex-player. It's exactly. The, it's the sweet spot. So, Riley was an assistant coach for the Lakers, though. Yeah, that's yeah. But yeah like he started as an assistant year, coach. Some shit. And he said they won, he won his first year. I'm not mad at it, man. Isn't uh, LeBron a free agent either after this season or right He's now? a free agent right now. Right they now. just offered him so, a three-year deal. Do you think that was a way to keep LeBron? The sign J.J. Reddick? Yeah. I think no matter who they're, they're choosing, they're trying to keep LeBron. LeBron ain't leaving, man. Bron, you got to think, LeBron is almost 40 years old. L.A. is great living. Your kids are in school. Go you collect your not- $40 million a year, yeah, whatever yeah. it is. Like You know he wants to play with his kid, though. It Does he? Yeah, and the way they talking now, the way Rich Paul talking now, I'm not so sure. Rich Paul said they not a package deal, you know. And Bronny said he just want to hear his name called. I mean, they, what what is? Imagine Rich Paul came out and be like they're a package deal. You think you completely undermine any team that shows interest in Bronny? He, he has to say that. That's what he has. to Why say. Why not say it though? Because they, because if you say they're a package deal, that 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 lets me know that there's probably already deal, a deal in place anyway. I just don't think you have to say that publicly because it undermines Bronny's achievements. He's a son of a successful man, one of the most successful men in history. Yeah. He's always going to feel in that person's shadow. If you just blatantly go say, hey, by the way, LeBron's only signed with a team if they draft his kid. Now he never feels like he earned it. Who gives a fuck? Nepotism is cool. No, Nepotism is cool. JJ, JJ Redick had coach of Lakers because of LeBron. He, he Bronny James that. getting into the NBA because of LeBron. Bronny needs that confidence to play, though. Does he? Yes, you do. Yo, Bronny anybody who criticizes nepotism, what would you do for your kids? You goddamn right. Make them homeless? You motherfucking right. You want them out here hawk to win? 
Yeah, they gonna you know be hard too. If you're not gonna be out there yeah, for that's him, right? I don't have no problem. I hate with nepotism. the criticism of nepotism. That's the point. The point is, you should be in position to put your kids on. Only people who hate nepotism is motherfuckers who don't got nothing to nepo. Like, facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You a parent? You don't have nothing to nepo to give to give to your fucking kids in the name now of you nepotism. Crying about it. You know what I'm saying? I have no problem with nepotism. Like, that's yeah. what you're supposed to do. Especially if you know your kid got potential. Why wouldn't I want to give my kid an opportunity? And if they don't succeed? have potential, you need to because no one else is going to. Exactly. So, Fuck yeah. Out of here. Shout out nepotism. Shout out to J.J. Reddick. I can't wait to see what he does. Um, yes. Are there a lot more qualified coaches? Sure. What does that mean? What does that mean, qualified? qualified? Who, like, who else is out there that has won rings and is trying to get a job and can't? I can name one person right now that I think should be a head coach right now who's, who's not, who's won rings as an assistant. Who? Sam Cassell. Sam Cassell should absolutely be a motherfucking head coach in the NBA right now. But, Sam, but, but he's just done it as assistant, so we don't know. But he's won rings as an assistant head coach. I'm just saying he's, he's been an assistant head coach for so long. He's been on championship caliber teams. He's a person who should get a shot at a head coaching, a head coaching gig. Now, maybe the Lakers isn't the best gig for him. I don't know. Right. But he's one of the, he, he was a fantastic player, has had a great uh, run as an assistant head coach. He should be a head coach. I think so. You know? And by the way, players make great coaches. Jason Kidd is a great fucking coach. Yeah. You know? Some do, yeah. Now. Now. It's just going to be interesting to see. I mean, listen, I think, I honestly think that uh, that whole N-word shit with J.J. Reddick. I, I only like saying this shit. We, but go on. I think. Yeah. He strategically planted that. Talk to us. To let them motherfuckers in the locker room know, I, I can get you fired. <laughs> to let those n words in the locker room know, <laughs> don't think that I can't come in here he and motherfucking snap the whip. He need to walk in there like Trinidad James. Come on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm just saying. White dude, come in there, snap the whip. I gotta come let on. you know, I got an edge. Nah, Y'all think I'm pussy because I was on Old Man in the Three? No, nah, no, nah, he need to do it. You bro. think I'm just a guy that's analytically here with nah. fucking JJ Reddick? I he need to go you think Stephen A. Smith? <laughs> Is the only black person I can put in check with some words. Nah, he got to right. really do it. All right, watch this. You got to drop it immediately. Watch this. I got the capabilities. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay some bills, Taylor. Let's pay some bills, Tebow. Come here and knock you the fuck out. You can. Oh. I don't want that. <laughs> That's the last thing I want is for you to swing on me. Okay. <laughs> All right, Taylor Gang. Taylor motherfucking gang. Taylor Gang. PG Lang. Huh. All right, let's pay some bills. Salute the built. All right. Uh, listen up, all you renters. Ever feel like you're stuck in this loop of rent payments, just watching your money vanish in the thin air? It's time to turn that rent game around and start earning some serious rewards. That's where built comes in, okay? Built is breaking ground as the first rewards program that hooks you up with points on your rent. Even if you're still rocking the old school rent check vibes, Built Rewards has got your back. They'll mail the check for you. It's like having a personal rent paying assistant. Every month, pay your rent and watch the Built points roll in. Use points to jet off on a dream vacation. Put your points toward a flight or hotel stay with 500 plus airlines and 700,000 plus hotels and properties. Use your points to sweat it out, okay? Redeem your points to book fitness studio classes. You can also use your points toward a future rent payment or toward a future down payment on a house. Pay rent hassle-free through the Built Rewards app. Your rent game will get a major upgrade, okay? Built Points has been consistently ranked the highest value point currency by the points guy in bank rate. Earn points by paying rent right now when you go to joinbuilt.com slash idiots. That's joinbilt.com slash idiots. Make sure to use our URL so they know we sent you. Joinbuilt.com slash idiots to start earning points with your rent payments today. All right, now let's get back to the show. Show T. Yes, sir. I see that you just announced. Well, let's do some church announcements. I see you uh, just announced the new leg of the... This is the, the last life leg. Tour. Last leg of the life tour, man, uh, goes on. I guess the pre-sale by the time this is this is out will already be done. But um, yeah, we'll be on sale right now. So we just added a, a bunch more cities, and these are the last ones. So if you want to come check out the life tour, it's a you know this is a very specific 
hour. It's fantastic. Thank you so much. And uh, so, yeah, I'm so coming to San Antonio, Las Vegas, Hawaii, uh, Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Salt Lake City, Denver, Cleveland, Columbus, uh, Cincinnati, Rama, Ontario, and uh, Portland, Oregon. And uh, so go to theandrewschultz.com right now. Get those tickets before the resellers get to them so they don't fuck you guys. And uh, thank you so much to everybody out there in the world that has, uh, you know, come out to the show and made this the you know craziest tour I've ever done. It's literally everything I dreamed of when I started comedy was this tour. So, uh, yeah, those are the last chances for y'all to see it uh, before we go film that special. And then it is fucking done. Thank you very much. I'm coming to the filming of the special. Yes, sir. I'm coming to see it again too, because my wife wants to see it. We're gonna, I'm gonna come see it in Atlantic City, because I'm one of those people who loves Atlantic City. Yeah, you know, come through. That'll be fun, and then we'll do. Um, what's it called? Yeah, we had a second show in AC, but I think we do. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we get like a nice little dinner going out. Oh, there. I loved it. What's it called? That's so food spot. It's, I fuck with in, it's in AC. Yeah, I like it's Kelsey's. in one of the casinos. No, nah, no, nah, Kelsey's. A, it's, it's his own spot. spot. It's two of them. Yes, yeah, it's, oh, okay. it's, it's one that you can go in and listen to music and eat. Then it's another one that you can just get something to go. Salute to Kelsey's. I fuck with Kelsey's. Um, my new book, Get Honest, Our Die Line, Why Small Talk Sucks, available everywhere you buy books right now. Thank you to everybody that's Let's been go. grabbing it. Uh, I'm going to get back on the road after I come back uh, from vacation. Um, come hit some of the cities that uh, I haven't been to yet, man. I love, 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 love the reaction to the book. Um, people really appreciate the fact that I did shorter chapters. Like, I'm literally, people are buying this book and texting me that they got it and then hitting me the next day like, yo, I finished it. Because I, 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 I like to create things the way that I consume things. Okay, which is? So I like reading books, right? Mm -hmm. But I like when... I like when it seems like I'm getting through chapters fast. Yes, yes. Right? Because it just keeps me feeling like I'm, I agree. I'm doing something, yep. right? So it's yep. just like when I, I like when I can get through chapters fast. And I just think that, you know, we live in a world nowadays where we're competing. Every, we're we're, we're com competing with everything else, right? Yeah, like there's so many other things. So many attention. other things taking our attention, yep. right? So it's like, you know, give something to people. Give people something quick and digestible. And they appreciate it more because they feel like they accomplished something. Yeah, you're 100% You know right. what I mean? Like, I like that book. You should read it. It's a quick read. There was an author named Dan Brown who was very famous for writing the uh, the books called, uh, one was Angels and Demons. The other one was The Da Vinci Code. They ended up becoming movies that uh, Tom Hanks was oh, in. Yeah. And he wrote a bunch of books. But I'm not saying he started this, but his style, he would write this historical fiction, but the chapters could sometimes be three pages. And there was four different storylines happening at the same time, and you're bouncing between them. But you're plowing through these chapters. Yeah. And I read the Da Vinci Code. Okay, you remember. Yeah. And you just can't put it down. Now, obviously, there's great storytelling and that kind of stuff here. But one, you, it feels like a movie where you're like, oh, I just need to know what happens. I just That's need right. to know what happens. If the chapter's 30 pages, you get 15 in. You're like, I'm not going to be able to finish this in this sitting. I'll come back. That's right. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with you a thousand percent. So thank you. Go get the book. It's available everywhere you buy books now. You know what I'm watching on TV right now? That is a good fucking show. That shit with Jake Gyllenhaal. You know, I started it, and then uh, keep going. I, I know exactly what That shit is good. What's the name of that shit? Pull that shit up, Taylor. Presumed Innocence. Presumed, Presumed Innocence. Innocence. That shit is oh, good as remake. a motherfucker. It's a remake? Yeah. Really? It's got to be. Off of the novel and the movie? About the, the, the DA? Yeah. yeah so the DA who's having a mistress? Must be. And the mistress got killed? <laughs> that shit is good as a motherfucker. I, I started to get into it. I don't know, but go on. It's just good. I like it. I, I mean, I enjoy it. I haven't, been watch, I haven't been watching TV. There's been nothing on it I really, really wanted to watch. I haven't gotten into the case yet, and I think that's probably where they really get you. The shit that, is, the shit that gets me, man, is the way... How can I say this without triggering myself or anybody that's yeah, <laughs> might be yeah, listening that's, to this? The way he be having to explain to his wife... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's, not, that's also that he was cheating. God damn, Jake, you must have been doing a lot of cheating in your life. That shit be hitting home, bro. And the way the woman reacts, I can't, I, don't, I can't remember his wife's name on the show, but yeah. they are doing some good ass acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's yeah. not even like she getting mad. Yeah, 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 yeah. She just look like she going to get even one day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just some cold, cruel yeah, yeah. shit. Can't do it. Can't oh, do it. my God, man. Yo, she sat down at the table one time when she when she first made them 
tell when she first made him tell the kids, she sat down at the table was like, your dad has something you want to tell you. And he's looking at her like, we didn't talk about this. <laughs> like, we didn't, well, I didn't say I was going to tell him now. So he has to tell him. They both get mad and walk away. And it's, she looks at him and goes, I'm not doing this alone this time. Mm-hmm. Meaning that he must have got caught cheating before. Oh, he did. He got caught cheating with the same woman before. But she just kept it to herself. Now but we all gonna now we, now just now the mistress is dead. So motherfucking, we gonna do this shit. That we gonna do this shit together. Did you finish it? Not yet. I don't think it's no. It's it's uh it's uh episodes. It's, it comes out weekly. Oh, it's not all out. No, you know, the wife TV. killed it, right? I don't know. It has to be. I really don't know. It's on, I, I, I've seen. Uh, I mean, that'd be kind of fun. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun. The wife kills her. I think and I've frames seen three the episodes, four episodes. Oh, well, I framed the husband. I thought she killed him because she wants to keep the family. Together. That's that payback that get even. That shit is good. Uh, uh, what else? We, huh? Oh, I think you said something. What else we got, uh, Taylor? I do want to say one thing, oh. real. Okay. We sh- we should note that we're recording this before the debate. Oh yes. <laughs> Salute to the debates, man. A lot of cable news networks want me to be on the air Friday, but I'm not going to be there because I'm going on vacation. Good for you. You know, I'm going to sit back tomorrow, though. I promise you, man. I'm going to watch that shit like it's the pop-out show. Okay? (laughs) I watched that pop-out show from beginning to end. I turned it on before it came on. I saw every... I watched it from beginning to end, from DJ Head, the Mustard, the Kendrick. I watched it all. That's what I'm doing with the debate tomorrow night. Or tonight, whenever the fuck we put the podcast out. Because it is going to be must-see TV. And if I was Donald Trump, if I was Joe Biden, I would be on PEDs. Both of them. If there's something that both of them can take to give them an advantage, if there's something that Joe Biden can take that makes his cognitive decline look less, if there's something Joe Biden can take that makes his energy look up, if there's something that can make Donald Trump remember all his words and not go off on these rants, do it. Why wouldn't you? PEDs aren't illegal in a presidential fucking debate. This ain't baseball. Mm. This ain't the NFL. Why wouldn't you? Donald Trump's 78. Joe Biden's... 107. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> I mean, yeah, run it up. Run it the fuck up. Run it up. Run it up. I'm not mad at it. Get on the drugs, man. All right, so what do you think happens? What are the predictions? Uh, predictions. I think that the media on Friday is going to do what it always does, which is focus. Two things are going to happen. They're going to focus on whatever Donald Trump says that's crazy as opposed to focusing on anything that Joe Biden said that is actually meaningful, meaning like his actual record, what he's done in the last four years. Mm. They're not going to focus on that and highlight that. Instead, they're going to focus on if Joe Biden just made it through. Mm. If Joe Biden just does the bare minimum, makes it through without looking you know, slow, without any gas, without looking like he's in cognitive decline. They're going to focus on how good he looks as opposed to the shit he actually talked about yes. and said yes. that would be meaningful and beneficial to the American people. Because I don't think that tomorrow we're going to get a lot of substance and policy talk. We're definitely not going to get that from Trump. Hmm. We're probably going to get that from Biden, but nobody's going to focus on that. Yeah. They're going to be focusing on him just barely making it through if yeah. he gets through. Yeah. And with Trump, they're going to be focusing on any wild shit he said. They did it last time with the the, the shit with the Proud Boys. And yeah, the, yeah, You yeah. know, like, like they're going to focus on that. And that's the mistake that the media continues to make. They continue to focus, especially the left media. They continue to just focus on villainizing Trump as opposed to talking about... What you've achieved, what you've accomplished. Yes. Yeah, the, the good things. And then you wonder why you... people say, what has Joe Biden done? What yeah. is the vice president doing? You don't fucking tell us. Tell us, motherfuckers. Yeah. But I know every bad thing that Trump has did. Yeah. And guess what? Motherfuckers don't care. Yeah. <laughs> He's the bad guy. Is we Trump, know this. Is Trump going to come out shooting? Is he going to talk about Hunter? Is he going to do the whole he thing? got to. Oh, he's going for it, right? Come on. Yo, please, Trump, watch Lean On Me, yo. I need, why? I why? need somebody in Trump's campaign to let Trump watch Lean On Me. Wait, why, why, why? Taylor, go pull up Google <laughs> Wait, <what>? Joe Clark. <laughs> you smoke crack. Google Joe Clark, you smoke crack. And play that for me right now. <laughs> I need the Trump administration to watch this and incorporate this in Donald Trump's repertoire when Donald Trump starts talking about Hunter Biden. By the way, you know you can't even do the written for Trump. So you just give him the source material. And then let him Let cook. him freestyle. Hmm. Joe Clark, 
on the roof. Lean on me. Okay? 1989. <laughs> okay? Turn it up, Taylor Gang. He smokes crack, don't you? <laughs> he smokes crack, don't you? He smokes crack, don't you? He smokes crack, don't he? <laughs> Look at me, boy. Don't you smoke crack? <laughs> don't he smoke crack? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. Do you know what that does to you? Huh? No, sir. It kills your brain cells, son. It kills your brain cells. <laughs> now, when you're destroying your brain cells, you're doing the same thing as killing yourself. You're destroying the cell. I'm Donald now, Trump. I say, if you want to kill yourself, don't fuck with If I'm Donald Trump, I'm pressing him about his son. He smokes crack, don't he, Joe? He smokes crack. And then I say, that's why Joe acts the way he does. Secondhand crack smoke. That's <laughs> fucking. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Internet. Can you, can ablaze. you imagine the headline? Internet. Ablaze. Donald Trump accuses Joe Biden of having cognitive decline because of Hunter Biden's secondhand, secondhand crack, crack smoke. smoke. Game changer. That's crazy. You win the internet. <laughs> you know <that>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, can you give Biden some heat? Because if he comes with that line, it's a wrap. Yeah, what is what is a joke for Biden? What does Biden say about Trump? Here's the thing. Here's, here's, what, here's what President Biden and we fucking up with the Trump thing, right? And not even just President Biden. Just, just liberals are so fucking stupid, yo. <laughs> what they do. The whole convicted felon thing, right? Like, there's this meme that's been going around, right? This is the meme. Yeah. My little brother's texting me talking about why, what's up? Nothing, motherfuckers. Y'all ain't got no passports. <laughs> 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 What the fuck are y'all? <laughs> <laughs> He's on both. Wow. I mean, What's you could up? invite them now knowing that they can't get a passport expedited. No, I'm going to tell them to get one. Um, when your loyalty to a felon is greater than your love for your country, you are the problem. I repeat, when your loyalty to a felon is greater than your love for your country, you are the problem. If you are reposting that meme, you are so out of touch. Do you know how many felons <laughs> that you probably love more than you love a fucking America? Yeah. Like, first of all, you should always, I would think you would love any person yeah. more than you love a country. Like you love your, I love my mom yeah. more than I would. And it's not that I don't love the country. It's, yeah. just that I, it's, a, it's somebody that I love. But do you know how many people that is probably in your family that are felons? Yeah, they're, just, yeah, they're trying to use the... They're trying to really make him radioactive with the felon line. Th that's stupid. And it's like, that's not going to stick. No one cares. It's too many. I'm yeah. a fucking convicted felon. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm getting my record. My record has been expunged and I'm getting the pardon. But my point is, there's too many convicted felons. That ain't right. going to do it. Are you really? Who's giving you the pardon? What you mean? The state of South Carolina. Really? Well, I hope so. I don't want to speak too soon. Who'd you have to hawk to to get that? <laughs> <laughs> Because that shit ain't free. Nah, bro. You got to do something. Man. Huh. Talk to us, man. It's worth it, though, ain't it? I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's never It's never really a great time to suck dick if you don't want to. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. Like, God damn, guys. What the fuck, man? I thought this was the brilliant idiot fucking podcast. <laughs> y'all getting like everybody else taking things so fucking literal. All I'm saying is that they're doing the convicted felon thing. But it's ain't you know, gonna stick. The only way that's gonna work for Biden on Thursday night is if he breaks down why he's been charged. Mm. And by the way, the, the the hush money shit. I don't even know if that's worth bringing up. The hush money shit has overshadowed the actual big shit. Yeah. The fact that he. The insurrection. Yeah. That's what motherfuckers should be focusing on. Yeah. That's what you should be talking about. Yeah. So it's just like, I don't, I, I really don't know what Biden could say to Trump tomorrow. Yeah. I don't know. What could he say? And Trump has no shame. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can see Trump being like, yeah, I went to jail. It's like, I know a lot of people. Uh, like I can see him trying to compare himself to. All joke. All, all Trump got to say is, I'm going to be sharing a cell with Hunter. <laughs> Me and Hunter gonna be in the same cell. Y'all don't. This is the same guy that when the grab him by the pussy tape came out, ran it up. He went and got the four women who've accused Bill Clinton of sexual. That's what I'm saying. Is he gonna get any of the and people? put him in the front row? Is he gonna get any of the people? Like, what you mean? Is he gonna get any of the people that have either accused Hunter? Is he gonna get Hunter's past exes? Yeah, what is if he, he gonna, bring Hunter crack dealer? That's the, like. What? <laughs> it's not gonna be an audience though. But isn't that good though? Oh, yeah, like, there's no audience. You're right. You're right. You're right. There is no audience. I don't fucking know. I really don't know what Biden could say to Trump tomorrow. And that's the bad part. 
because there's nothing about you know why you know why it's hard for me to say you know it's like like if you was writing raps for somebody I say you was writing jokes for somebody right you know what a person can deliver and what a person can do but with do. Trump you just gotta give him the information with, I yeah. don't I don't Biden gives me no inspiration to want to write for him yeah you know what I'm saying unless he's making fun of himself that's kind of funny to be like self deprecating not no, you can't though I don't know I kind of like that. Because you're already, like, everything, you're already old. Yeah. Like, what are you going to say? Like, you don't want to make yourself look any older. Yeah. I don't fuck. I don't, I don't, I really don't know. I really don't know what he could come with. What could he come with, Chris? Uh, I don't think much. I mean, I think the only hope, and I think there's a chance this is hap will happen, is I think Trump is out of practice, meaning, like, he's been doing rallies, but he, he had, you know, Biden's had to be on message for the last four years. Trump, based on at least the clips I watch, is all the way out there. So I think you kind of have to rope-a-dope him. You got to let him get his shots off. Don't address him. Don't confront him. Let him punch himself out. That's let, not a bad strategy. Let him go so crazy because he's not, you can tell he's not disciplined right now. If you match his energy, then you look as crazy as you he look does. look as crazy as he does. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, Biden yeah, yeah, has yeah, to yeah. do is prove that he's not what the videos on Twitter That's make all. him seem like he is. That's just, all. just be cool and be I like, like that. This, this is what you want? Yeah, I this like guy's that a clown. Yeah. Kind of, he did that in one debate. Do you remember that? There was one debate that they had where Biden just seemed composed, and then Trump was look, like off kilter. I, he was like, are you going to shut up or something like that? Yeah. Something like that, I, I, yeah. I think when Trump went after, is it Bo, Biden's dead son? Yeah. When he... Did that in Biden's face and Biden didn't react? Like, that made me like Biden more than anything he's done policy-wise. Yeah. I was like, that... Think about it. someone talking shit in your face. About your dead about son. Your dead son. And yeah. you don't smack them across the face. Yeah, I, I, I like that strategy. If I'm President Biden, Let I, just, I stay composed. I, do, I stay on my message. I talk about the things I've delivered to the American That's people. It. And, prove and I let him competent. go crazy. Prove you're not an old dead guy, which is Correct. what people think you That's are. Right. That's, That's right. That's all you have to do. And you know what? It's easy for him to be impressive because everybody thinks he's dead because all they see is the videos of him getting lost on stage. So if he goes out there and he's like funny and charming, people are going to go, oh, they just take little snippets and make him look foolish. Well, he can't be funny and charming. That's just not in his, that's not in his DNA. If he looks manageable. Okay, so let's flip it. If he looks terrible. It's if he right. looks terrible or Trump's look terrible, do, you, do Republicans pull Trump? No. And do Democrats fool Biden? The people will support by, uh, Trump no matter what. Uh, Biden, if he looks terrible, I think they yank him. You got to yank him, right? They either yank him or they just submit for the election. They go, we're not winning this one. Let's just run it out. You got to yank him. Who you put in if you yank him? For Biden? Yeah. I mean, you got to go with the, the white boy from California. Nah. What's his name? Uh, uh, Gavin Newsom. Gavin. Yeah, nah, Newsom. You got to go with Gavin Newsom. Who? No. Boy, white boy from PA. Big Shapiro! Let's go. Who's Big Shapiro? Josh Shapiro, Shapiro. governor of Pennsylvania. I don't know. Plug him right in. No, I he's think. the one he like, he just dresses in normal clothes. No, that's the no, other that's one. No, that's Fetterman. <laughs> Fetterman. Fetterman, yeah. <laughs> Throw him in with the hoodie. Yeah. He's a wild man. Shapiro Fetterman ticket? Yeah. Fetterman dressed like Bill Belichick. Pennsylvania ticket? <laughs> Pennsylvania ticket yeah, don't PA, kill him, Chris? PA ticket might work. Shapiro Fetterman? Here's the thing. If Pennsylvania is going to be a key swing state. In theory, you get Pennsylvania either with definitely with Shapiro. I don't know about Fetterman. He's a bit of a wild card. Hmm. In theory, you're winning. Fetterman California. offsets the Jewish. What does that Because every time I bring up Shapiro, people be like, oh, he's Jewish. I'm like, what does that mean? No, Fetterman's going even harder for Israel. No, but I'm saying if Fetterman makes it easier for people who might uh, not who might not want to vote for Governor Shapiro because he's Jewish. I know, but Fetterman's going so hard for Israel that he's he so might pro as well. Israel that those people might also he not might as want. well be Jewish. No, 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 no. It's, listen to what I'm saying. I'm, I get what y'all are saying. Yeah, I'm saying I'm talking about good old fashioned racism. You're and, talking and, about an anti semite. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'm not talking about the right. Israel Gaza thing. I'm talking about I just don't like this person. Oh, oh. You know what I mean? Just like the that, identity. The of identity him. of yeah. it. Yes. But I'm thinking that person will see Fetterman's on the roof of his house waving Israeli flags. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah, think yeah. an anti semite looks at him and goes, "Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah." Plus, Fetterman sounds Jewish. Okay. Here's Sh the, here's Shapiro the Whitmer ticket. That's it? That's it. Let's go. Governor Josh Shapiro, Gretchen Whitmer ticket. No African-Americans, you can live with that? I don't think... Okay, well, let's say this, right? <laughs> if you put Shapiro on the ticket and you keep Vice President Harris, I don't think people are that upset about the VP anymore. Oh, you got to get rid of Kamala. I think the only reason Kamala scares people so much is because Joe Biden, they think he could die at any minute. It's Yeah, and she's just... 
I think if Joe Biden's 20 years, 30 years younger, nobody's complaining about Vice yeah, President Yeah, no one Harris cares. Like it's actually beneficial. But yeah. the fact that, you know, Biden could go to any second, then that's what terrifies people. Oh that's right. That's God. what scares people. Oh, my God. That's what scares people. Imagine. So, so if you have a Shapiro Harris ticket, yeah, but, I, you know, but I, I Shapiro Whitmer. I Shapiro need to know this, takes have, America by storm. I have no clue who this Sh Shapiro person is. I don't even know about the Whitmer ticket. Fantastic chick. guy. Really? Fantastic What's his guy. He he a Jewish got, guy from Pennsylvania. He's middle of the road. He's smack dab in the middle in terms of democratic politics. I love they, what he's done on prison reform. Yeah. I love what he's done on the probation reform. I love what he's done with his uh the, the, the second the second chance. I can't remember the name of it, but it's like the second chance act or something. Like I, he's done a lot of fantastic things in Pennsylvania. Okay. He's somebody that I Vibes. pay attention to in a, in a real way. Vibes. I like government. He used to be the AG. I like Governor Josh Shapiro, you know? I, but, but here's the question, and I don't know the answer. Can you physically replace somebody at this point on the ballot, or is course. it too far gone? They're unfit to serve. I don't know. Once someone's unfit to serve, you know how many gots? I don't, I don't know what's right and what's wrong anymore. I don't know it what... It would have to happen at the convention, right? I think so. Yeah. Governor Josh Shapiro, Westmore ticket. I'm not Who's mad Westmore? at that. Oh, I like Westmore. Governor of Maryland, baby. Yeah. Just pardoned. How do uh -huh. you know all these people? Huh? How do you know all these people? Because I watch CNN. I don't fucking know. Nah, I've man. been to West, though. West, my guy. I've been to West. I met West uh, when West was running uh, the Robin Hood Foundation in New York. And what's so interesting, me and West have a, a mutual friend. And um, I remember 10 years ago, maybe, yeah, maybe about a decade ago, the mutual friend was like, you two need to know each other. Y'all two need to know each other. And I remember the guy going, this guy, Westmore, could be the next Barack Obama. He's going to be the next. And he said, and he, he, he said, and you know, Charlamagne, you are going to be one of the next huge voices in media. Y'all need to know each other. Wow. Told me this 10 years ago. So he's nice, this yeah. guy. And he connected us 10 years ago. Yeah, he just did a pardon. He just did a pardon in uh, Maryland where he pardoned 175,000, uh, I think it was misdemeanor marijuana offenses. Oh, wow. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something else Trump could do tomorrow. What's that? Um, just promise reparations. Whoa. Yeah. I think he's going to do something like that. I've been called that. I just don't know when he's going to hit him with that card. Whoa. He's going to do something like that. He's going to he's going to say something like, black people deserve reparations. And I'm going to be the one of the people. I'm going to be somebody that gives it to him. He's going to say something along those lines. I feel it coming, man. He got my book. <laughs> Alex, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> We're not editing that either. Nah, he's not that it. You're about hey. to see a 40% decrease in WTF. <laughs> <laughs> Your studio is in New York and LA. Right, right, you want to see a 70% decrease. Son, if, you don't think if he gets reparations... So that's all it takes? He gets First of all, if all, you, be, if you believe that... Sense. Exactly, if You'll you believe say, that, you're crazy. I'm just saying. You'll say whatever. <laughs> if you believe that, you're crazy. Well, I don't think you're crazy, Al. People are going off of from the pandemic of... Him giving us well, money, Someone right? lied to us and say it because it's better than no one saying it. I mean, listen, if you're going to sell the dream, sell it. I'm sell a, the dream. I'm big on selling dreams. Like, sell a big yeah. dream. Sell a big dream. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. Let's get the fuck out of here. Huh? Um, I think I'm hoping that Kendrick wins a Grammy off Not Like Us because he is eligible for it. Salute to Ariana Grande, man. She said her dream dinner date would be Jeffrey Dahmer. Fire. Yeah, you, these child stars, man. <laughs> it's, you know, you know what I mean? I laugh, though. I gave her a donkey today, but it's still funny. Because that's the type of shit I would say. Who's your dream dinner date? Huh, Jeffrey Dahmer? Just to see, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's hilarious. Nah. You know what they say, though. If you go out to dinner with Jeffrey Dahmer, you either at the table or on the menu, baby. Hey. One of the two. Hey. Uh, what we got, Taylor gang? Let's get some asking idiotos. Oh, you ain't put the, you should have put the honorary degree shit up there, Taylor. That would have been a good conversation. Who got an honorary degree? Um, Pretty V. And we had a discussion this morning on the, you know, I got an honorary degree from South Carolina State University. And, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people feel like, you know, having an honorary degree is not the same as having a real degree, duh. And they feel it's an insult to people who have a real degree, which I totally disagree with. Okay. Because an honorary degree is simply recognition. That's all it is. Right. It's like if you're a person who's, you know, had a great career in a field, yeah. right? And you've accomplished a lot. And you might be a great philanthropist or public servant. Are you somebody that those students aspire to be like? Yeah. They give you 
an honorary degree as recognition. But why? It should be called something else, though. I don't see why. But why? why? Why does the university take credit in some way for your accomplishments? Yeah. Well, it depends, right? Like, I'm from yeah. South Carolina. Yeah. So my mother went to South Carolina State University. Right. So I I do a lot of philanthropy all over, but especially I do a lot of philanthropy in South Carolina. I have a, I gave $250 to South Carolina State University to open up uh, you know, a scholarship for me. $250,000. What I said? Two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Two hundred fifty. Two hundred fifty dollars. <laughs> he paid, he paid <laughs> for some books. He made a couple, <laughs> a couple books. books. But no, it was a quarter million dollars, right? And so, because of all I've achieved in yeah. the world of communications, yeah. right? They gave me an honorary degree. I gave the commencement speech, and it's literally just recognition. Yeah. And it's not even a real degree. It's not like a. It's not a degree that you can go use to get a job. I know. I'm just saying. Like, why do they think that that's special for you? I mean, it is for but, me because that's my yeah. mom's alma mater. Ah, I see. I see yeah, it's my mom's alma mater. I like, the, like I saw Roland Martin today say he got like seven or eight honorary degrees. It's just special to get recognition. It's just that it's like a, it's like they're they're recognizing you for the work that you put in. Like it's it's like getting the key to the city almost. The key to the city don't unlock shit, but don't nobody say. What the fuck you getting that key for? It's just yeah, an honorary fair. degree, honorary doctorate. Like it does just, it say the what's the degree in? Uh yes, I think mine is in mine is in the field of media. Do you get to pick it? No, oh. I think they they pick it for you. Mine, I think I'm pretty sure mine is. I got to look at the plaque. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure mine is in the field of communication. Oh. I don't. I don't be five. And pick. people say things like you didn't put no work in to get it. Yes, I did. Hmm. I put in 26 years but on the motherfucking know that radio. You didn't get one though. It don't matter. But no, that's what Steve they... Jobs never graduated from college. Neither did uh, Mark Zuckerberg. Neither did Mark Zuckerberg. Neither did motherfucking yeah. Bill Gates. You're you telling me that these people shouldn't get honorary degrees everywhere across the world? You think all of these people who are in school for tech or whatever it is, they, they're not these people's, in, the people aren't their inspirations? No, I, I would just say it does more for the university than it does for the individual. Sure. Like they're, they're using you and getting clouded off sure. of you. Sure. Yeah. But that, that's, that's why I don't understand why people with real degrees are upset. It, it, they work for it, Sean. Yeah, but it doesn't like impact you. didn't work for what he did. Exactly. And I'm saying it's just, no, yeah. when I, but they're working literally towards to get that degree. You didn't know. That's why I said you didn't know that you're going to get a doctorate degree. Yeah, but he and, you didn't, it, and, and there's a lot of people who got degrees from colleges who didn't know for the next 20 years they wasn't going to make no money. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But y'all thought yeah. when y'all got these degrees, you was going to get out and life was going to be great. Yeah. So what's the difference? It's and just, that degree that they worked for, they actually use it for something. Like, you right. can't use that degree for anything, so Nothing. it doesn't matter. So that's what makes it the problem probably more. No, it wow. doesn't. Yeah. If I was working hard for a doctorate degree, putting in six years or whatever into it, and then someone, and that's just no shade to you, I'm just saying, like, someone that, you know, you built your career without going to college, and but you have a powerful voice and going on mad platforms, I'm gonna feel a type of way because you didn't put in the work. It's um, just I did put in work. It's just an honor. It's but, like a. But again, it just goes back to you saying, back to me saying that like, you didn't know you were gonna get one, right? Like you weren't planning to get one. No. These people are working their asses off to get that doctorate degree to and they use it. and salute to them. My point is, why do y'all care? How is how is this? How is me getting honor, an honorary degree or anybody getting an honorary degree hurting you in any way? Because I guess it's one of those things where, again, this is, I'm just thinking if I was in the shoes, like, I'm still paying loans and everything else off of getting this degree. Hmm. And you're already rich and able to just speak at. That's all the more reason I should get an honorary degree. I think it's because I'm a person that can come talk to these kids. It should be labeled something different. I don't think so. It's like, yo, Chris, you heard about uh, when when, when, uh, these royal families sometimes will will knight you? And make you like an honorary knight. I mean, that's that's pretty fire. standard in the UK. Every, yes, that's fire. Every that's, rock star in the UK. Yeah, Jay Z literally yeah. got honorary knighted. He's Sir Carter from Brooklyn. That's right. fire. He got knight like, like so. By why? whom? Who? Who knighted him? I Queen forgot. Elizabeth. Who the fuck knighted him? I forgot who knighted him. Somebody knighted. Somebody knighted Jay Z. He's Sir. Sir Carter from Brooklyn. That's two different things. No, it's not. It is. They're that's not going the, to school to get knighted. Yo. Uh, you're a, you think it, 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 it might be, I'm sure it might be people that are in the royal family. Like, how are, how dare that person get knighted? They don't give a fuck because they know it, it's just an honorary I think, I think cool it shit to me. But you saying cool you don't give a do. fuck is people that's working hard to get that and they give a fuck. You can't. How does it hurt you? Off. 
How does it hurt you other than you being jealous and envious because I'm rich? No, but that's pretty that's... much what it is. You're oh, right. Oh, so now we talk. But, but I'm just saying, okay. but I'm just telling you. I'm just you're telling, circling the wagon. I'm circling the wagon. You're circling the wagon. But, that's a, but I'm just saying, though, that's how they feel about it. Keep it yeah, but keep in mind, Charlamagne had to work way harder to get his honorary degree than any of those students had to work to get their real degree. Mm. Why do you say that? I mean, the amount of hours, time that he had to put in to achieve what he I was on had radio to for achieve. twenty plus years. By the time I got, my yeah, like think yeah. about like those kids. Most of those kids that graduate from communications will do nothing in communications, but he was at the top. It, it took him being the top of his field to get an honorary degree from South Carolina State University. It just takes those kids graduating after four years to get a, a, a degree. It's not four years. What? It you talking the, about a bachelor's degree or a you, doctor's yeah, no, the, degree? The, the, bachelor's the, degree. The point is this. If you gave an honor, let's say I'm a 19-year-old kid. I go off to college. I spend four years. I spend yeah. close to 400 grand. And I get a degree in you know architecture or English, let's say, English degree. And then they went to another kid who didn't go to college, who did whatever for four years, didn't pay any money, gave him an honorary degree in English, and then he could conceivably go out and compete with me for a job. But you can't. But that's the whole point. They're only giving it to people who've already achieved exactly. amazing success. I exactly. don't get it. I don't get it. No issue. There's yeah, no I don't issue. get it from Charlotte's perspective. But you're just giving back to the school. That's right. Yeah, it's it's so that's how I have to look at. It. I have to look at through the lens of like the famous person is going. Hey, I'm going to do you a favor, school. It's a recognition. It's, that's all. I can't write it on an application. Yeah. yeah. I can't say, hey, I went to school. I got ask a doctorate. An, like, <laughs> ask an idiot right yes. now. I have to get on a flight. Ask Let's do idiot. it. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh. J4YR7 says, best struggle food. Oh, this is fun. Mm -hmm. What was your best struggle meal? Oh, I got some good ones on this one. <laughs> First burning. Best man. struggle food, probably when there's no bread left and it's just those two ends that don't nobody motherfucking use yeah. and you starving. Yeah, you got So you, you do, do something like scramble an egg and put that egg on that motherfucker with some ketchup. I mean, that's a nice little breakfast sandwich, yeah, my dude. Yeah, you, yeah, not really, because when you take a bite into that leather, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the leather, two ends of the bread is leather. You don't even want this shit no more. So you just yeah. end up eating the eggs by itself. Yeah, yeah, that gets rough. Okay, best struggle food. Um, Why are they leaving in there? I had a. Okay. This isn't even, this is like a dish, but it was what we would do when we were living on like five euros a day when I was living in Spain. We would make tortilla española. What is that? It's, it's, it's essentially like a, a pie, like a quiche without a crust. And it's just scrambled eggs and potatoes. But we just go to the store, buy a bunch of eggs and buy a bunch of potatoes. We cook up them potatoes. Then you scramble the eggs, you put them, you mix it all in. You make like a, I don't know, like a pie out of it. Flip it over, tortilla española. But that would tide us over. It was three of us living in this house together. And we would get through like a few days just on that. Amazing. And it was just like... A few bucks. That's one of my favorite dishes. It, I go, it yeah, slaps. I know. It's amazing, but it was that struggle food. Good. Like yeah, eggs and potatoes. So, you remember the first Burning Man? What were we in tortillas? Yeah, just tortillas and the craft singles. That's Throw it. it in the microwave That's for it. 15 seconds. Oh, man. That's not a real struggle. Y'all do that on purpose. Yeah, we did choose you know what that. I'm, <laughs> I'm talking about some shit where you had to eat this shit. You ain't got no point. You ain't got no choice. Mm. Uh, ooh, this is a good one. Mihir Cobb. Would you rather lose... Morals for money are money for morals. Interesting question. I need more nuance. You just need to know how much money. No, I need to know what this, <laughs> I, need to know, need I need to know what he considers immoral. Because, uh, because technically true, yeah. there's a lot of things that we do according to scripture that is considered immoral now. That's a good point. We, but we don't look at them as immoral. That's a great point. I think it means compromise your morals. Yeah, or like just what you think is right or wrong. But for ten billion dollars, that shit gets real compromisable. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know what's considered right or wrong. Yes, for you, do. like, like what like, you would or wouldn't do. But then, what if somebody's giving you ten billion dollars? I got. I got. I need a list, bro. I need like you got. Like, you got. You got to write down like what's immoral, what's not. I got to see what you consider morals and all that. Like, because people get. They get tricky with morals. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, my morals are different than other people. There's certain shit I'm not doing now. Right. You know? They should be. Maybe. Like, yeah. there's certain shit I see other people doing that I'm like, damn. What's wrong with me? 
What's wrong with me? Like, they, that, it don't seem like what they're doing is so fucked up, yeah. right? Yeah. But it's for so whatever reason, it's not for me. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I would have to see what, you know, they consider morals. Would you rather lose morals for money or money for morals? I mean, like, to me, shitting on my friends, shitting on people I love, backstabbing folks is immoral. Yeah. But for, for most people, that's... Business. They, yeah, they, they do it you know regular. what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's just certain things I'm not gonna do. Like, like I'm just, I'm like, for for example, and this is just light shit, but like, let's say I'm 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 in, I'm in a I'm developing something, right? Like, whether it's a TV show, movie, whatever, whatever, and people might come to me and be like, "Yo, you think Andrew would want to be involved with this? Or you think Duval or somebody would be involved with this?" As soon as I hear that, I'm like. Yeah, but they got to get what I'm getting. So it'd be EP yeah. credits. It'd be create, you create. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's just how I. That's just how yeah. I. Yeah. I move. Yeah. Now, notice I said specific people, mm. right? I, I, yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because that's what I would want y'all to be yeah. empowered in, in 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 that way. You know, I I know I wouldn't do that for everybody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But for people that I've been building with forever, yeah. You know, and just building things forever, I yeah. would want them to have that. Yeah. So I don't know. Some people might say if I did that for y'all but didn't do that for somebody else. Then you're an immoral. asshole. Yeah. So I don't know, you know? Yeah, I, I wouldn't know. consider that immoral. I think that you can treat your friends different than you treat the strangers. But I hear what you're saying. Like, yeah. we have to figure out where, where that compass is. Mm -hmm. All right, one more. Let's, let's get one more. Uh, That's not a good one. Ooh. Which one you see you like? Uh, ooh. Your best way to keep showing your team the vision while like on the that. come up. We definitely got to do brilliant and immerse too. Oscar be savvy. Yeah, you're right. you're right. People be saying, people be coming up to me in the airport saying that shit. Uh, Abdon.ca, what's the best way to keep showing your team the vision while on the come up? You're showing proof by actions and deeds. There we go. Because the reality Amen. of the situation is if you have had a dream with your team mm -hmm. and you've been telling your team what the dream is from the beginning, if you're actually on the come up and all of these things you told them was going to happen are starting to happen, you ain't got to keep showing them the vision. If they don't see it now, something's wrong. That's it. In fact, that's when you realize who you should be cutting the fuck off. Boom. Because we, we, we doing everything I said that's it. we were going to do. There it is. So if you don't see it now. If you don't trust me now, then what's the point? Bye. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, you're not, you're so not on board. The best way to keep showing your team the vision while on the come up is just keep showing and proving by actions and deeds, not words and lip Amen. service. All right. Uh, we're taking a break next week, y'all. We all on vacation. Gang. It's the 4th of July, but we'll be back after that. So, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.